Back in the studio, man. Back in the studio. It's uh, it's nice. It's finally colder. Yep. You know, we were doing it in the summer. It was horrible. Yeah, seasons change. Seasons change. And Years go by. That's what we're going to talk about for the next hour, you know. Tide goes uh, in, tide goes well, out. How was the wind? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we're all just a little bit of dust in the wind, <laughs> huh, brother? What were you about to say? Uh, I was about to read this thing we have saved specifically for this. It was Alec Baldwin's, I'm going to read Alec Baldwin's statement, or sorry, Donald Trump's statement regarding uh, the Alec Baldwin shooting. Okay. So this is from the desk of Donald J. Trump, 45th president of the United States of America. A great president, in parentheses me, once said, <laughs> already a, already a Amazing. once said, I could shoot somebody and I wouldn't lose any voters. Now Alec Baldwin, a total loser, <laughs> <laughs> has taken his impression of me to a new low oh my God. by testing out this theory. Oh. Alec, you aren't me. Now you're going to prison as you should have. <laughs> now you're going to prison as you should have because of that awful, terrible job you did on SNL. Parenthesis, parenthesis, Wait a minute. Parentheses, which I have hosted. Wait, I'm sure. <laughs> this, is, this is a real press release. We're 100% sure. Donald Trump's PR team Put that into an official memo. I mean, no, I'm not shocked. And it's, released it. No, that's like better than Dave Chappelle's last special. <laughs> Dude, it really is. It's like, it feels like to me like the Michael Jordan, I'm back press release. It, it's like just, I'm back. <laughs> and he's 45. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, oh my God. Just greatness returning. I love how he's acting like, like, like now you're going to jail. <laughs> Alec Baldwin, he, he, makes, he goes, Alec Baldwin's going to prison because he played me on SNL. Like, I mean, you're going to jail for this woman you killed. You should have gone for what your for impression, your impression, of impression me. Which is far worse, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, just the opening, a great president, me. Oh me, of course. Yeah, me, son, of course. His son is selling those shirts. Uh, what is that? His, uh, Donald Trump Jr. selling shirts that say uh, uh, Alec, Bal Alec Baldwin, or guns don't kill people, Alec Baldwin does. <laughs> <laughs> Some crazy shit like that. <laughs> Which I kind of it's it's funny, but it's funny, but it, it does have that um, it has that energy of your coworker who you don't want to talk to. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh no, if you saw somebody wearing it not as a goof, the obvious that's a that's just horrifying. Person. Right, it'd be the guy who comes up. He's like, "Did you hear what Sleepy Joe did again?" <laughs> You're like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> did you guys see that uh, the Marine who uh, prevented a shooting at a gas station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We no. grabbed the kid's yeah. gun out of his hand. Yeah, yeah. That was great. So yeah, there's like a hillbilly, white hillbilly at a gas station, like a 30-year-old Marine, and he's ordering, and he's just like wrapping it up with his local guy talking, you know what, bull bullshitting. And then behind him, the door like just gets kicked open, and a, just like a young black uh, kid and a couple of his friends come in with like a gun out, uh -huh. and the Marine, just total hero move, reacts in an instant like a superhero. Disarms him, takes him down, blah, blah, blah. National hero. It's, he's all over the news, celebrated as a hero. He shows up at the press conference, make America great again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> a, a, like a fuck Joe Biden shirt. <laughs> <laughs> That's just great. Yeah. Everybody was instantly like, oh, wait. Yeah. They're like, you're not a hero. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it is funny. Just every uh, person in the military is that. Yeah. I mean, yeah, what are the, the people, def even the cops at the January 6th riot were probably like, that's what they were like, you know, come on, get in here. Go come kill, on, go come kill on. Nancy Pelosi for yeah, I, got you a, I got a Q shirt underneath this, <laughs> yeah. like Superman. <laughs> he, the, yeah. yeah, half the cops that worked at the, at, at, uh, at the Capitol, they like, they show up hours early to look for the tunnels. <laughs> <laughs> even that black cop they chased, he had a little fuck Joe Biden he shirt. He had a vibe yeah. to him, yeah, too. Yeah, yeah. He was leading them. Yeah, yeah. He was leading them up. <laughs> <laughs> it was like you know, yeah. Oh, that man. was a great time. You know what's? You know what I can't really imagine though, and I hate to sound anything like a, a, a an alt right guy or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But you know what I can't imagine ever. What's that? Somebody stops a shooting like that. They go to the press conference and it's like AOC, right? You know, it's like I love AOC. No, yeah, right. you're not. They're not wearing the protect trans kid shirt, <laughs> right? Yeah, it's like. But yeah. so I, I, what is it? I, I guess they're just not heroes. Yeah, I think that's it. yeah, they're I not. They're, I think they're, they're all cowards. They're, they're all cowards. They're, they're internet. Listen, don't want to sound like an all right guy. Every liberal person's a coward. 
<laughs> Don't want to sound all right, but right. if you support AOC, you're now, you a know, coward. Right. I'm sure they're saving lives, uh, uh, stopping shootings. Yeah. And then they just don't go to the press conference. Or they keep it I don't quiet. think they're stopping shootings. No, I don't I think so either. I was trying to say that. You no. know, I don't think so either. No. no. No, they're not. They're yeah. not stopping anything. Well, that's but, it, but making America it, great. <laughs> they're stopping the damn uh, it's, election. They're, it's, they're, they're I, fucking stop this. Stop. Listen, enough, enough of the shit. Time yeah. to stop the steal we, votes. We, okay? can, we yeah. can stop doing the bit where we pretend we're conservative. Right, nah, we're conservative. We're going on month nine of <laughs> yeah. the election being stolen. <laughs> The Dominion voting machines were faulty. <laughs> the guy who tweeted Trump, save me, President Trump. <laughs> save I got COVID me. and I'm dying. <laughs> I mean, listeners think they know Devin, by the way, from the podcast. But if you hang out with them long enough, inevitably... It, it becomes Dominion Machine. Oh, All yeah. I do is talk about the Dominion He's... Machines and how they were faulty, especially in Phoenix and Mesa, Arizona. <laughs> <laughs> you go upstairs, it's just six Semper Tyrannus flags, that big yellow snake. I'm the only guy... <laughs> That is a Make America Great Again guy that doesn't stop shootings. <laughs> I also do the shootings. <laughs> Did you guys see that the how, how much fucking ammo was on the set of that Alec Baldwin movie? <laughs> no. no, dude, it's there's like thousands of rounds. There was well, they, they, the, the the armorer was uh, Dylan Claybol. <laughs> <laughs> Steven it's, Paddock was you, producing Steven the movie. Steven Paddock was the fucking AD. Yeah. Always walking around with the eyes closed. Here's your gun, Mr. Baldwin. <laughs> Steven Paddock's just like, cold gun. Right, cold. Cold gun, shoot it's it. Cold. My He's, brother's watching child porn. 80 terabytes or whatever insane, <laughs> insane number the U.S. government framed him with. He's like, he he's like, guy, he's like I, he goes, guys, I like this shot, but wouldn't it be better, like, up on a balcony? <laughs> <laughs> like, they, go, they go, Paddock, it's a Western. Like, right. The whole, on set, he just keeps going up to Alec Baldwin. He go, keeps going, like, you ever been to Mandalay Bay? <laughs> <laughs> That's my favorite hotel. What's your favorite hotel? You, you like concerts? Big, <laughs> big fan of concerts. You like a lot of people real tight in a space. In a space. Hey, Alec, uh, you like Trace Atkins, <laughs> huh? You ever, you ever thought about the types of people that show up to a Trace Atkins show and how they deserve to perish under, Easy under a hail of gunfire? Easy picking. You ever just think about oh, how... What? Easy picking? What? Nothing, nothing, nothing. 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 You ever just think about how the cops would just sit out in the hotel lobby for 20, 30, 40 minutes while you just fired round after round? You ever want to game police protocol knowing that they have to wait while you unload? <laughs> you, ever Dude, get, I... you ever get sick of having to fire guns in a sanctioned environment, <laughs> Mr. Baldwin? Mr. Baldwin, by the way, love 30 Rock. <laughs> big, love, big fan of the Rock. Love 30 Rock. Yeah. You were great. Oh, man. But yeah, no, they... they uh, also, did you guys see the pictures of the lady that's the armor? I have seen her, yeah. That, that, She's definitely not stopping any shootings. Oh, no. She looks like she runs <laughs> Wait, an open who? mic in, in Brooklyn. <laughs> who is it? Her, her name's like Hannah Gutierrez Reed or something. Yeah. She's got like purple but, hair, and she just looks like a classic, like, mm -hmm. you know. But what was her position? She was armor. Armor, who's like kind of responsible for this. It was her second job ever. Her dad was a legendary armor, yes. like on gun smoke. Right. Back in the day, towards the end of his life, he just pops out like one last bit of cum and then makes makes this Hannah, lady and Hannah Ramirez Gutierrez Hannah Smith Gutierrez what she probably changed her last name to Gutierrez right to get a exactly job. So yeah. like you know about guns yeah come in it's I didn't your even know there job. was like an armorer was a position well there's it's hilarious if you look at photos of her in the last three weeks it's all her holding like rifles and pistols like looking into the camera all western all the guns they were using right. on set like loading real bullets yeah loading into the bullets yeah. and, and like it's she's like Travis Bickle like, yeah. yeah yeah she's, she's like in a mirror with yeah. a gun <laughs> Just blowing she's, that guy's hand off. She goes, I love my new job. Like she's all twisted. They, they were firing guns on set like before. Like they that's, were like well, that's shooting how, range and that's shit. how the live round got in is they had a cold gun. It was checked. They put it on the table. And then the PAs just had a little during lunch, they're like, Let's go shoot the guns. And they just put real bullets in them. Yeah. What? Use them for target practice. The girl didn't check. They handed it they handed it to Mr. Alec Ball and they said cold gun. 
Yeah. He's like, what if I did it like this? And then it went off and shot the yeah. director and the cinematographer. Jesus. I've seen pictures of her. She could claim the Twinkie defense. <laughs> she, she, she could, she could, she could, you know. She was just like. This fast food got to her brain. He goes, I don't know. I'm, I mixed up. I got, my hands were my slippery. My hands were sticky. From all the saturated fats. A live round was stuck to the frosting. <laughs> just out. I thought it was a sprinkle, ladies and gentlemen. I can't get over that story. It's, yeah. It's it's uh, I'm so I know rest really in peace the to the lady. It's nah, horrific. Don't even we don't. Have but to enough. We've been making yeah. COVID <laughs> jokes all year and millions are dead. That's right. Okay. I, well, I like I mean, to the, do the Tom Cruise speech from Collateral. <laughs> you know, one fatso dies and you get your fucking panties in a bunch. <laughs> you start what about Nagasaki, about it, oh, Hiroshima. Right. Oh, it was, it was literally like I saw. Uh, my brother sent me the the sheriff's press release because that was how it broke. Like Mr. Alec Baldwin had shot and yeah. killed. And I sent it to like maybe 50 people, just like LMAO, like all caps, 14 O's. I'm like, I under, in the back of my head, I understand this is a tragedy, but it's fucking Alec it's Baldwin. It's Alec Baldwin. It's just hilarious. It's if you're great. not laughing at this story, you know, in 2021, you're, you're a fucking idiot. I mean, you're like you're, a loser. If you're not laughing at it, it's just because you have a hard time because of how quick soon it is. But in five months, it yeah. goes into the realm of like, that's just hilarious. Mm -hmm. It's a hilarious headline. It, it's just funny. It's all, it started funny. It's just so funny that Alec Baldwin, he got all like this uh, hype for playing Trump and like yeah. doing all this stuff. And then it's like he's he's beat up. He's like beat up like eight paparazzi people. Mm -hmm. he, he called them homophobic slurs. Yeah, he called he called them, yeah, he called them faggots. He called his daughter a fat pig. Trash down the gas. Daughter, by the <laughs> way was 11 years old 11, he called her and he calls pig. her and he leaves a voicemail like he's talking to like Ari Gold yeah, he, really he goes you son of a bitch you embarrassed me how does the last time you little pig it's it's like he's talking to like the uncut gems like diamond merchants <laughs> like you thought you try to fuck me you cunt and you're like good oh my god I yeah. couldn't. I re-listened to that. I when he he has the nerve to go. I don't care if you're twelve or eleven or right. whatever you are. <laughs> you, you're you like, fat, oh my god, why are you, you calling pig? a child like this? I remember because I saw I I remember watching him go on Letterman. He goes, you know, I always tell, and I hadn't listened to the voice message yet. Yeah, I remember him going, you know, I always tell people don't judge a family until you're in it. And then I listened Can to the voice, and it's like him going, you fat pig cunt. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> Can we play the pig tape? I can, um, I can, uh, we can get it on your phone. I can just put it into this. I tried that and I couldn't find a good one on YouTube. Try to find Alec it. Baldwin. Yeah, I don't, it might be removed. Voicemail to daughter. No, I listened to it the other day. I listened to it to go to sleep. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> That's his white noise machine. Right. ASMR, Baldwin, the pig tape. Okay, and I want to leave a message for you right now. Because again, it's 1030 here in New York on a Wednesday. And once again, Talking about her like 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 his eleven year old daughter like pants him on stage right. <laughs> like like he like she pulled his pants down and was like look mm. at my daddy's little dick right. like, what who talks to any well, kid he's, this he's way? talking to her like, like she's a little salesman in Glengarry Glen Ross exactly. like she, like they're in a mammoth movie. <laughs> You've embarrassed me. You've embarrassed me. Yeah, like, always be closing, you cunt. She goes, ballet is for closing. <laughs> Who is the mom basing her? Mm -hmm. When I come out there, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> I have prop gun murder excuses. <laughs> they don't convict. <laughs> <laughs> You've made me feel like shit. And this crap you pull on me with this goddamn phone system. 
situation that you would never dream of doing to your mother, and you do it to me constantly and over and over again. I am going to get on a plane, and I'm going to come out there for the day, and I'm going to straighten your ass out when I see you. Do you understand me? I'm going to well. really make sure you get it. Can you imagine getting this voicemail at 11 years old yeah. from your dad? He booked it. <laughs> Put it on your calendar. Yeah, I'm sending you a Gmail invite <laughs> to kick your ass. Remind me of your Gmail, you dirty little pig. <laughs> Boy. Well, you, it's, it's to leave that on a voicemail. I mean, what is, is the, what is the live phone call sound like? Exactly. Yeah. Boy, but I can tell he fires from the hip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you, know, you know what I picture? You know what I picture is happening now in that house is... It's kind of a grim environment because the tragedy just happened. Yeah, sure. And so he's been staying home. But when the family gets back, he's just kind of in the den and the lights are dim. Yeah. yeah. And he's got a whiskey. Yes. And, and, and what he, he's drunk. He's drunk yeah. as hell. And he goes, yeah. he, his daughter walks by. His daughter goes, walks by the he corridor. Goes, he goes, do you hear what happened on set, pig? <laughs> 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 yeah. Big beard. Yeah. She goes to the kitchen. She gets some, like, some, like, some smuckers. <laughs> She goes back to her room. She walks by the corridor, and he's holding the little handgun <laughs> like like Gran Torino. And he goes, he's eyeing her. He goes, pow, pow, pow. And she's just like, you're so weird, Dad. Right. She just walks by. He's, he's just like, uh, she's like 25 at this time. <laughs> he's like Daniel Plainview at the end of There Will Be Blood, just shooting at the stuffed animals. It is. <laughs> you're a pig in a basket. <laughs> A fat little oyster in a basket. He goes, you hear they're not even going to prosecute. He goes, he goes, he goes, no consequences. Goes, it's I the, can kill. It's the armor's fault. <laughs> you hear what yeah. they're saying? You hear what they're saying about the armor? It's her fault. It's horrible what yeah. he did. He turns, into, he turns into Zimmerman after he got acquitted. He's just like, I'm a god. I can do anything. You are right. He has a big beard and a scotch that's almost falling out of the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dude, what if Alec Baldwin becomes like super like Republican now because they're the only people that accept him right. for, for like being into for guns? Killing, yeah. yeah, he pulls yeah. a reverse OJ. <laughs> exactly. He's going down to Waffle House. He's in QAnon rallies. Right. Like, I doing mean, an impression of Joe Biden that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> He really is getting what he. It's not what he did. Not. I mean, obviously, nothing. Right. No. It's horrific. God what used happened. This woman to punish Alec it's, Baldwin. It's, <laughs> <laughs> Kevin was about to say that. Did it? No, I joke. never said anything of the sort. What I'm saying is, it's the reason it's funny is because he's not just any guy. Mm -hmm. He's been in the news for the last 15 years as being like such an asshole right. and such a self-important smug. Yes. You know, in Team America, he guy. was the smug guy in yeah. Team like 2004. Mm -hmm. no, no, forever he's. Been. If you're a public. Figure, it's already allowed that you can make fun of him for cra even the deaths and stuff like that. But right. then, if you're a really smug public figure, it's like now any ever fair game for everything. Right. You know? That's he the also thing. has. Yeah. He also had another scandal this year where his wife was pretending to be Hispanic. <sighs> that was. Yeah. She's like a white woman from like England. Yeah. There's She's nothing. like, oh, Alec, like, like. Yeah. Doing like fake Spanish and accents. His and wife found it hilarious. <laughs> what is that? No, she found it hilarious. hilarious. Why, don't you go, why don't you go take I'm a walk? <laughs> take a breather. Get some fresh air. Sorry, I went. I was like, is that some bad comedy? As a real, this is one of the worst jokes I've ever said. <laughs> he sucked the air out of there. But room. his wife is a goddamn fake. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hard left turn. It's actually Hilaria won't be celebrating Dia de los Muertos this year, though. I can, I can tell you that. No day of the dead. She's like, you ruin a holiday. You ruin like the day of the dead. <laughs> like the day that my people like they celebrate the dead. And they go like, like la cucaracha. Like, don't use your fake voice with don't me. Don't you don't you use your fucking fake <laughs> fucking beaner accent. <laughs> Why don't you go make me a fucking... He's Batman. <laughs> you go make me some huevos rancheros, you fucking fake. Boo. I've had to put up with your shit for too long. <laughs> yeah, or just dress like Charo. <laughs> <laughs> There is something so funny. I have to spread. Uh, our producer here is a wonderful Hispanic man. Okay, right. mm -hmm. and also I'm I'm Mexican as well. Right. I. Yeah, you're, you're, what are you? I'm I Latin. work with a you're lot Latin. of. What? You, what is it? Argentinian. Argentinian. Yeah. I work with a lot of Mexicans at my job. 
Yeah, no, no, no. And he, Jace works with I work with a lot of Mexicans, yeah. They do all my insults. Also, I'm allowed to say it because she's not. Right, exactly. Uh, You're making fun of a white woman. She's white. <laughs> From Boston. She's a fake. Boston. Yeah. yeah. She's a racist. Yeah. She said that. It is a very funny just to like... How do you get caught in that lie? Like, do Dude, you just go? Do you go for like the talented Mr. Ripley, or does it, does it like a slow? Yeah, you just like one day you're you like, get, I think probably. How did they find out? Like, about I think that? you could look her up and just be like, oh, she was born in Arizona or whatatever. I think there like, was like, like an investigative California. article. And well, then, it was Boston, like the well, whitest well, yeah, place. Exactly. If you look at her yeah. parents, they look like fucking you know Gene and like Elmer Fudd. Yeah, like, oh, they're yeah. just the whitest normal. Her, she's white. Yeah, I don't want to say normal. Her parents are wasps. Yeah, no, literally, they're like she's like a wasp. Yeah. Like her dad's like, hey, Elmer, nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah, like a yeah. Firm handshake. Yeah, exactly. Like that that yeah. type of guy. They go sailing and shit. Yes, you know? exactly, exactly. Who's the MMA fighter? The chick? she goes like, we did not go sailing. We came over here on rafts. <laughs> we were on the catamaran. And I came over here with <laughs> Elian Gonzalez, and then I met Mister Baldwin. He jumped in the ocean. He I get in the bathtub. I come to this country. <laughs> Just piecing together every stereotype she can think of. <laughs> what, what if Alec Baldwin's whole house is just full of bullet holes? <laughs> <laughs> every night he gets drunk, he's just, he's just firing. Yeah, like, he's, like Elvis he's Presley's Elvis. house. Yeah. Yeah. Hunter Great S. Man. Thompson, yeah. yeah. Goddamn son of a bitch. <laughs> but yeah, I really can't get over this story. It's just, it's just, it's a... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a perfect story. It's really. insane it's happening at, the, um, at this day and age. Yeah. Like... I remember when it happened, I was like, I just can't wait to hear Trump talk about it. Oh, I really God. can't. I was... didn't vote for the guy, but it's just, it's so funny. That was worth it all. Yeah. I can't believe I missed that. That's like the funniest thing I've ever fucking heard. Well, they life. hide him. Now you can't. It's actually kind of hard to find out yeah, what, our, what our. It's, it's hard to find out what our leader says these days. <laughs> He's the president. <laughs> the the United president States. of the United States. Yeah. He does. He does his press releases from time to time. Yeah. Where do they get <laughs> really? He can't. He doesn't have Twitter. Well, he just released like any. It's like on Patreon know. or whatever. Yeah. It's, like, it's, it's like he's on his own. Like, yeah, Trump's on Cumtown. He's man. got his own website. <laughs> Trump was on El Chapo last yeah. week. <laughs> I think that's very gay, actually. <laughs> what if uh, Slimer from Ghostbusters was gay? <laughs> he's just doing it. Yeah, you get it. No, we get it. Yeah, it's, yeah. Uh, I, lo I, I mean, it's just so funny. Mm hmm. He's it's Alec Baldwin. Yeah, it's great. Well, what's weird is that I I have I'm I have ten South Dakota friends that usually text me in in, in a quote like that and just go like, look at you hear what you're like this is the best shit ever. Mm -hmm. And I didn't get anything. And that's maybe the funniest thing he's ever said. That's or probably because yeah. they they're probably like oh, it's you know the woman died. It's a little too soon. No, that no, you don't know my okay, friends. Well, that's I not it. I think he's just getting censored. Maybe, maybe, possibly. I mean, my brother sent it to me instantly. So, well, Ben's on the fucking dark web. <laughs> now, Ben's Ben's on the email chain. Yeah, he's he he's getting the ping from your president, <laughs> Donald J. Trump. <laughs> Man, I don't even know what else the fuck what what else happened this week besides that. I think he. Uh, that's, yeah, nothing important. Facebook, of course, is in the news, ladies what and did gentlemen. Facebook do or something. They Facebook, they they're getting investigated. They had all those papers leak, and a bunch of employees are coming forward. What is going on at Facebook? Uh, well, it's it's about how like their algorithms are designed literally to shift people into either like alt right or extreme leftist camps to create a culture war. Do, do, well, no, it's just because it makes the site stickier. Just uh. literally, people stay on it longer. So it's like you could Google like. Alec Baldwin, cool, and it's like, all right, in three months you're going to chop your own dick off and mm -hmm. give all your money to a black family next door, or you Google Alec Baldwin bad, and then in three months you're, you know, you're taking horse paste and storming the Capitol, right, shooting a cop. Right. It rewards <clears throat> engagement, yes. commenting arguments because that gives them the most ad. Revenue. Right, yeah. right, exactly. So it it was it was like statistically kind of driving people apart politically. Right. They have that. A couple other things like their moderators have to sit in a room and watch all these videos that get uploaded, and it's like. Oh, a video was reported. Let me check this out. Oh, it's a kitten getting its head cut off. Okay, we'll remove that. Next video. Oh, it's a retarded kid getting raped to death. We'll take that video off. And then they just do that for eight hours a day. Uh -huh. Was there a big smoking day. gun where it was like, oh, they left. They didn't delete that one. No, I think it was. I think it's that a lot of those employees are now coming forward and like, hey, I uh, I want to kill myself because of all My, these videos. I, I yeah, yeah, this was essentially yeah. torture. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this is what they would do to people in Guantanamo. Yeah, Bay. yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm getting minimum wage from Zuck. Right, from the Zuck. Yeah. So they, Are, they they're rebranding. They're changing the name literally yeah. of Facebook. What is it going to be called? It's called Meta. Wow. 
What? Yeah, I'm not kidding. Yeah, I just realized I, I, I I'm, I've just been out of the loop. I haven't heard about any of this shit. Mm-hmm. I, heard, I it saw just, Jace's uh, uh, drawing yeah. this morning about it, but I didn't know. I honestly didn't. Which know Which the was QAnon real. people just went at me. Did they today. really? Like that's woke. I had a lot of comments that were well, it was because I did something about vaccines in it. Oh. So you do anything about vaccines? You have a lot of people be like, "No, that's fine. I'll take my horse pace. You can be a liberal fag if you want." <laughs> It's like, I don't, dude, you make 20 grand a year, dude. Uh, no. I click on your picture and it's you like calling a dog your wife. Like, what are you, <laughs> what are you doing having opinions, you idiot? You're thinking about Devin's fans or? Yeah, yeah, yeah you making fun Devin. of my... <laughs> No, God, everything's so fucking stupid. Yeah. Oh, Meta, oh, terrible oh, name. Meta's horrific. Yeah. Just end the company. Yeah. I suspect that that <laughs> will never even, happen. Like, still I don't think money? that's going to happen. Facebook's going to be around forever. Wrong. No, oh, the, no, the cha- I don't the name think they're going to change. I think that. Facebook is like, it's kind of like, you know, like the Big Bang Theory where everybody's like, who watches it? And it's like 100 million people watch it. Right, right. Which is nobody you, you talk to because they live in, yeah, all it's the old flat people. states. Yeah, it's old people and people in Ohio. It's like Chipotle changing its name to Qdoba. Or something. <laughs> it's like, what we'll just keep? Who cares? Like, what? It's such a, why would do, they? Do they think, do, honestly, is there something legally where they can't get charged or something if they have a different name? No, I think that that's like a very like cartoon defense. That would be very funny where know, they're like, you're on it. That I, was Facebook. We're not, who, who's Facebook? <laughs> Meta. Are you talking you're about on. Meta? Your Honor, I have never heard of Facebook. You double check the documents, Your Honor. Your Honor. You can big, look at big LLC Southern Meta. Lawyer. Colonel Sanders' yes. Facebook's right. Little, right. The Your Honor, does team. this look like Mark Zuckerberg to you and his big wig, coconut bra, big red lipstick, like Bugs Bunny dressed as a woman? This is, my, this is his sister, Rebecca Zuckerberg, Your Honor, who is innocent. Oh, uh, man, but yeah, Facebook, I go on Facebook every once in a while, and it's just like fucking, I mean, it's, it's just Facebook? the biggest. I still have it, yeah, just to, I don't even, I just use it for Facebook Messenger because I have a couple friends who, I'm if not, you have a friend who uh, is poor and has a Samsung, you pretty much have to do Messenger. <laughs> right, yeah, yeah. Right. No, I'm not kidding, honestly, every time I get on Facebook, it's I see like three different people that got something amputated. Yeah, no, it's, the whole website's it's, just yeah. for uh, recent amputations. Yeah. It's my, my Uncle Billy Bob who had to cut his head off. It's, yeah. it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's yeah, astounding. Yeah. It's just like a guy, every time I go on, it's a guy who's on a hike. He's like, first hike since the accident. <laughs> and he's holding, he has like an IV. Right. And he's, he's holding his host, the, 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 the bag. And he's, right. he's like, Runyon Canyon was a delight yeah, today. Big. Might be my last <laughs> time. All this, all this poster, like voice to text. He's like, Facebook uh, has the best right. accessibility. I would rather be on a different <laughs> app. This is somebody just literally it's just a it's a it's a it's a torso, a headless torso that somehow uh-huh. they've created eyes and a mouth for right. like on their on their on their breast. And they're like, finally checked out Howlin' Rays. <laughs> <laughs> Postmates is a incredible right. technology, yeah. and you're like, God, oh, what a website! It's yeah. <laughs> Facebook. It's Justin Long at the end of Tusk. <laughs> just checking in safe from the hurricane, everybody. I guess Terry Shavo just checked into creation. Terry Shavo just checked into Facebook. She's inviting me to play Farmville. <laughs> <laughs> Which, oddly enough, died the same year she did. Right. <laughs> yeah, I will. I will log on, and it's a lot of mostly just people back home. Like, hey, everybody, pray for Chebecca. Um, she got she got sucked up by the tractor combine, <laughs> and she we had to bury her in a bag, y'all. So just keep Chebecca Chebecca Fergator in your prayers, everybody. <laughs> She had a good burial. We put her in a potato bag. <laughs> <laughs> what was left? What was that? It was so we prayed to the Lord Muhammad that we all worship the y'all. Lord the Lord Muhammad, y'all. <laughs> I told you I didn't know Muslim people growing up in Texas. You did? Like Texas Muslims, yeah. <clears throat> Wait, what? As they were from Chicago originally, but it was yeah the uh, the Abdullahs, oh, like yeah one family, one family. Oh, I think yeah, we're talking yeah. about there was like a no. They lived out of town, yeah. and we would go visit them because their da- their kid was my dad's point guard. Oh, he was good, and they'd be like, he was good. Yeah, he could really play. And then uh, they, they'd had a couch with no legs, so they could pray. And I was like, that's weird. Oh fuck! Can I go look at your chickens? And they're like, you, you can look at the chickens. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Um, did they? Um, 
accustom themselves to American culture, or did they like? I mean, they could. They would kind of have to. We right? would like, like go to Burger King and get it, but she's wearing the thing on her head. And but there's like nowhere to go to get like their type of whatever their daughters food that they eat. Their like, daughters won the state championship in doubles I don't tennis. Mean it that way, I meant like I don't. You just said Muslim. I'm assuming they're oh yeah, they're not Middle Eastern or yeah, what? they're not like there's not like a big guy with a big turban yeah but i'm saying like, like they're, they're like they're they can't not a big go there's not like an indian place in town or no not yeah they're like, not going a place to... where they can go make bombs yeah <laughs> right <laughs> so then you never had like bomb paneer or like yeah they weren't going to dune in atwater village yeah. chicken chicken tick tick yeah. tick boom yeah yeah tick -tock, yeah, yeah. Do we eat chicken yogurt? This is so racist. It's like Indian people aren't even right. <laughs> That's what I think Muslims are. <laughs> I was like, you know, Muslims shit. always doing the snake you know charming. Muslims and their Bollywood the bullshit. The, the rubies. Slumdog millionaire, more yeah. like terrorists. Yeah. <laughs> I'm watching Aladdin. I'm like, get it. He's gonna fly the carpet into the towers. <laughs> get this. Get this bullshit out of here. <laughs> This bullshit. You know, some terrorist. people think he wasn't even on that carpet. <laughs> <laughs> some people say it was CGI yeah. and the whole thing was animated. Uh, right. I know that genie's non binary. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking fruitcake. <laughs> Rugs don't melt steel beams. <laughs> Um, no, the, the, well, we would go to like Burger King and stuff, but their, their daughters won state doubles tennis wearing the burqa. Wow. Yeah, and it was Powerful. crazy because it's in Texas. It's like 110 degree heat. They're like almost like dying of heat exhaustion. That's empowering. And then their dad, who was a black Israelite in Chicago, but like got run out of the church, would just be on the side of the court and he's smoking a cigar and he's just taught, t teaching me about uh, foolishness. The dad's a black <laughs> Israelite. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Sorry. A, um, um, what was Malcolm X in? The 5% or the, the five percenters? The nation, the of, nation Islam? of Islam. Excuse Fuck. me. The nation of Islam. So much different. Yeah, my apologies. I was about. I was going to say you just. You're talking about the most interesting family of all time. They're no, still no, amazing. Still but amazing. Been, but go on, go on. Yeah, yeah. Dad's was, a MAGA guy. Right. The wife is a na na nation right. of Islam. They, they, uh, they were the United States of Al was based on their life. <laughs> <laughs> did you? By the way, did you see the commercial for the United States of Al? The special episode where Afghanistan gets invaded. Oh. Do you know what show I'm talking about? I don't even about? know what you mean. Yeah, there's what a is CBS the... show called The United States of Al. I've seen. I saw the tree. Starring... Al A L A L. So who, it's a guy who, named Al. He's just like he's a from... regular guy, Joe. It's or... it's about a soldier um, who befriended this guy named Al in Al in uh, uh, Afghanistan. Oh. And they he moved back home with the family. It stars Hank from Breaking Bad. Is the dad. Who comes, he's like, hey, yeah, what are you doing? Blowing up a goddamn building or what? Fuck you. Uh -huh. And then I was like, come on, man. Will you fuck my ass? No. <laughs> um, now, has anyone made the joke like that his last name is Kata? Yeah, I think that's literally the joke. It's got to be it's the like point, the United right? States of Al. And it's a Chuck War from the, the big guy. <laughs> Chuck Lorre? The big, yeah, Chuck Lorre. Sitcom. Two brothers, two and a half brothers. Uh, two and a half men. Two and a half men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are that? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the BET spinoff. <laughs> two and a half brothers. Two and a half brothers. <laughs> We got to get this little man some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> it's um, now I gotta Kevin teach, Hart. It's, yeah. the, it's the little guy. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Hart's the kid. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to teach the little brother not to come during it's the sex. Wayne, it's the Waynes and, and, and Kevin Hart. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin Gates taught us that coming during sex robs a man of his purity. <laughs> So wait, so who who plays Al? It's just some uh, probably Indian guy pretending to be Middle Eastern okay. or whatever. I literally don't know any of the actors other than Hank. But it's funny because it premiered this year, and then like 13 episodes in, Afghanistan literally gets like taken over, and people are falling off of planes, yeah, and getting beheaded. And they continued so they, the so show. So they did a special episode of the invasion of Afghanistan. I only saw the commercial for it. Oh my god, we have to. It's watch like those you, you should pull it up, honestly. Just like if you can look up the United States of Al, um, Afghanistan invasion. You got it, kid. Yeah, let me see if I can look it up. You get. You guys got to talk though. Well, I'm very excited about this clip. <laughs> my last, my last Google was Buzz Lightskin because of a meme I, a meme I saw. I was trying. Is to something find. going on with Buzz Lightyear? By the way, is he back? Or oh, they're yeah. making a movie on him. They're making a movie. What is Buzz Lightskin? So it was a, it was a meme I saw <laughs> that was Buzz Lightyear in the trailer, and he had a, he had a fade, and it said Buzz Lightskin. <laughs> oh my god! And I thought it was funny, so I googled it. <laughs> Buzz Lightskin. 
Chase is the silliest man. <laughs> like he's like it's just the fader. He's like a light skinned black dude. It's like, like he's a light skinned yeah. black dude. Got yeah, you, like got he's got you. he's got like the earring. Yeah, and yeah, like yeah. The, the, like the beard. He's, yeah, he's great at shooting threes. <laughs> you get you get it. <laughs> Buzz light skin. Oh man, that literally makes me hot admitting I had that <laughs> on my phone. Fuck, dude. Um, yeah, okay. I think I found it. I always say when you Google and it goes to videos, but it's like not YouTube though. We're uh, gonna take yeah. you to TVLine.com, which has the link to the. Make YouTube. sure to play that Google Fi song right. though, if it comes up. I love that. Wait, wait, thing. Here, here it is. I'll, I'll play it into my phone. Okay. The Taliban took Herat. Kabul might be next. Al's family's there. Are you fucking kidding me? We're at the airport. Oh, oh so my many God. People. I don't think I can do this. Listen to me. I am right there with you. It's like the 9 <laughs> 11 recording footage, yeah. like from the plane. Yeah, yeah. Whoa. And then, yeah. Is that oh out? My God. Yeah, it's it's out. It's on CBS. That's that aired like a month ago when wow. Afghanistan was horrific. Getting... Do are the comments like are they positive? Do people like let me, like... Check, let me check I get it, it out? I, I guarantee you, you know, people are really understanding. Or... They love it. No, I'm sure it's because I, I think it went I viral. It, I bet it's on. eight thousand down votes and like five hundred and sixty up, and they bought half of them. Yeah, let me see if I can. Yeah, it's fifty-five up votes, two hundred five down votes. So oh, it has like no views, like no one. Yeah, it that's went, just low views. It went, my, my it went viral on Twitter. People were talking about it. That's yeah. unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. That was fucking amazing. That's great, right? That's I, this is my new favorite show, and that's why mm -hmm. it's like, man, United States of Al. I'm so out of touch. Yeah, but I mean, what about it's like, that's what's getting that's what I don't even know. Yeah, that's that like a huge made. hit show. Yeah, but what about Buzz Lightskin though? <laughs> now I, that should be the biggest <laughs> show. That has on Earth. chops. Buzz Lightskin. Yeah, well, there was a but you didn't see the Buzz Lightyear trailer. No, you guys got. I didn't know. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. you guys got to get online. No, what I did he do? What, what? What's? What's he? Was he? So, is he MAGA? Yeah, he's he's, he's trans and MAGA he's, now. It's Tim Allen. <laughs> yeah, it's Tim Allen. No, it's um. <clears throat> so it's they made a move. They're making a movie called Buzz Lightyear. So it's not about the toy. It's about, according to Disney, it's about the man that the toy was based on from real life. That's the dumbest. So fucking. they're making Who up. Who wrote a this? David Chase. It's <laughs> <laughs> the many saints of light say here. <laughs> Don't even fucking say that. No, I'm 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 honestly going to attack him for no. a while now because Buzz. he's thinking about making a show, Buzz. which I, we'll get into later. Yeah, he's talking to Woody. 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 It's it's like it, it, Andy looks up to you. <laughs> Big Papa Door for no reason. Yeah, I don't know Woody. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, God, I mean, you, know, you know, a, a slam dunk premise for for Buzz Lightyear is is it goes, and maybe they're hiding this, mm -hmm. but he's like a whatever. It's based on the guy that he's based on, and then big twist ending. It's like a Twilight Zone app where he gets turned into a toy. Yeah, and he gets trapped in the exactly. thing in, a, in the mean, toy universe. That's a slam dunk. Slam dunk. So yeah. it's about a man that the toy was based on, right. and who could that be? Because it's a toy. An about a, he's, what, a, a guy that is supposedly guy. like an astronaut who you know did a thing, and then they're like, "We're making a toy out of this cocksucker." They better do toy shit in the. If, if this is just some weird, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's gonna be a hunk of shit. Of course. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be very bad. Well, but they don't really miss. Though. Though, yeah. either finding Nemo, but about the person that Nemo's based on, right. like, <laughs> yeah, it's like, Jayla, so it's, it's finding the, what is there no audio? Oh, yeah, 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 plug it into the fourth one, and then, yeah, yeah, but do we just we, we haven't recorded the whole thing? It's fine, <laughs> we'll, 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 we'll watch him just right. struggle and then plug that in. There you, there go. you go, what's You're going on? Me. The big thing about Buzz Lightyear movie is they replaced Tim Allen with Chris Evans, yeah. Oh no! Are you Wait, they were serious, Tim. Yeah, yeah. Some people are mad about because it. he's like a liberal. I, Chris listen, Evans is like a liberal I, guy, right? Serious. Yeah. And I, you can't do that. You can't fuck Buzz Lightyear up that way. Are you kidding me? Tim yeah. Allen was the shit. At, he, he was great. That's the iconic. Mm -hmm. That's the whole fucking thing. I think they so they made it about the guy that Buzz Lightyear is based on. So it, they the, could say like, oh, it's not Tim boys. Allen. It's the guy. It's you know. Oh god. Chris, so Chris, Chris Evans, Evans plays the man. Yeah, Chris Evans plays the man. Buzz that's Lightyear. Fucking stupid yeah. man. Yeah. Poor Tim Allen. Should we get like a Patreon going for, for Tim him? Allen? Yeah, yeah. yeah, that sucks, dude. That's that's really <laughs> pathetic, guys. Um, Tim ooh. Allen's over with over with yeah, yeah. yeah. Being no, Buzz Lightyear, it would be funny if he just did the home improvement noises though. They should as Buzz Lightyear. 
<laughs> Buzz Lightyear is based should be based on Tim Allen playing himself, and he's running drugs right. like, like Tim Allen Dude, did. Dude, I would honestly love to watch That'd that be story. Amazing. He never talks about it. He never speaks. Never on talks it about it. At I was all. thinking about that today. Dude, it's, I think about it. I was a just lot. looking at the mugshot. I was like, he had what was it? I think four pounds of cocaine on him he at the Miami airport or something. Like Pablo Escobar. Yeah, no, literally. Tim he's, Allen was a fucking kingpin, and he sold out like. Fucking twenty to forty guys. By the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. Person. He just—he was like the Henry Hill. He yeah. just like ratted everyone out. What? What's going on, Joe? You don't you don't believe in Alan? No, no. I'm saying that, like I don't judge him for ratting out the people that he was. Get no, doing. I don't give a shit about that. No, but everyone's always like they always consider that like this is like a common thing where it's like oh you know this guy's a snitch. Yeah. Oh, you know, I would I would rat out every single one of you in a for dude, for if, a day of jail. If time. we were in a criminal enterprise Same. together, mm. there's an understanding in my mind where I'll do business with you. If I go to jail, I'm ratting you out. If you go, you're ratting yeah, me. Yeah, it's an right, unspoken right. agreement. Like, okay. yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Shake Thanks. it. Good. If right. I get arrested, you should kill yeah. me yeah, because yeah. I'm going to send exactly. you to jail. I'll the only I'll kill you the, if you get arrested. Like, yeah. yeah, we're good. The yeah. only time it's supposed to be like taboo is when you're like in the mafia and you have that code, like you actually believe in that family shit. And even right. that, which even no one then was destroyed. The, no one, no one cared. The code. Well, back in the old days, they did. But that was only before before cocaine. That was before Rico came in and you could get a twenty, thirty, pre Rico. Yeah, you were you doing kind of a scumbag if you did that yeah you're yeah. doing like a one year you so you exactly. can't do a year exactly. and you're a mob member do a year bid you're yeah getting, you're getting sentenced the craziest sentence. but once it was right. 20 to 30 Ten. years it's like yeah, yeah. it's time to and you're eating the lobster oh, and the pasta sauce and whatnot you know it's great you're, you're slicing the garlic you do a year bread. in and then imagine that day you get out they get you so much pussy and, yeah. and, and pasta yeah <laughs> they get you a couple of no-show jobs couple of no-show jobs you get to work you know you don't have to show up to the fucking uh, garbage you know facility yeah. and you right. just get paid it's like great the mafia is great i do yeah. enjoy I, the guy who's like you know my favorite scene in goodfellas is when he's slicing the garlic really thin. <laughs> i'm like oh wow that guy do you run the the movie instagram channel like wow. cool, cool movies you know instagram? i always <laughs> forgot about that scene yeah. <laughs> <laughs> guy who offers no original yeah, take on like, anything that shot yeah when they walk into the copa <laughs> <laughs> you have to be that like oh, you know, that's a one yeah that's what they call in the industry. They call that a one it because it's one take. <laughs> the guy that's like, oh no, good fellas. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was real grease ball shit. Real grease ball. I don't know if shit. you guys have seen Goodfellas. Yeah, it's, before. it's from Goodfellas. You know what? I get a weird. I get an itch. I love Goodfellas. I've seen it probably more than any movie ever, and I can watch it any time. Mm -hmm. But uh, I get like weird. Um, urges like a sweet tooth to watch Casino randomly. I have been re-watching Casino the last year. Casino's I've watched it like three times. making a run for, I think it's almost on the same level as Goodfellas I've watched in a way Goodfellas so much and Casino's is kind of an easier watch. You know what I mean? You can like put it on and just have Because the first the, hour is like a documentary. Kind yeah. Of, yeah, exactly. And yeah, yeah, yeah. You have like that narrative like kind of pulling it through. Well, yeah. I, th I think what happens is people remember Goodfellas because it is probably better and it, you, you think about Goodfellas you, and like, oh, let me rewatch. I'm in the mood for that kind of thing. I'll right. rewatch Goodfellas. And then at some point you go like, oh, wait a minute. Casino. Casino's yeah. Goodfellas and it's even longer. Like, and it's, and yeah, I haven't like, seen yes. it. In, like I've seen Goodfellas like yeah. two months ago. I haven't seen mm -hmm. it in forever. I've eaten too much chocolate pie, but you know what I'd love is some chocolate cake. Exactly. You know? yes. It's very similar. Yes, exactly. Yes. Um, <laughs> and also, you know what's weird is that is Joe Pesci, uh, Tommy in Goodfellas is the most despicable guy of all time. He's hilarious, but uh -huh. he's awful. And you know, Nikki, Joe Pesci's character in Casino, he is. You can maybe make a case he's even more brutal. He's way worse, but it's he's way worse. It's, but Nikki he's more likable because he actually it's, like likes his kid, right? And I think it's more yes. based. In, he like cares about yeah, his kid. Yeah, yeah. Totally. I think in Goodfellas, and he comes off more level headed in an odd way. Well, I think even I though think, he's insane, I think Goodfellas it comes from. It feels like more of a psychopathy where Casino. It's like, oh, this guy gets really, really angry. Yeah, and that's about it. But he does have like a code set of rules and stuff. Right. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Devin nailed it with the kid. He's so sweet with this yeah. kid. He goes, "What does butter do?" And, yeah. and, uh, bad for your heart. And, and, and I think De Niro, or so, there's a voceover. I can't remember if it's Pesci or De Niro, but it's somebody saying like, but no matter what, every morning he was always up making pancakes for his kid. Right. And then he was actually just being like us. 
And then, because Joe Pesci's an amazing actor. He can be a sweetheart. Mm -hmm. And he's really just being a sweetheart with the kid, like just doing his Joe Pesci smile. And yeah, like, right, yeah. right. And you're like, oh my God, that's touching. Mm -hmm. I just saw him pop a guy's eyes out. Yeah. <laughs> but no, this I, is so sweet. Yeah, yeah. And then a minute later, yeah, yeah. he shoots that, that woman politician in the head and holds her head down. Yeah. 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 She bleeds out. Yeah. Yeah. When I was a kid and I saw that. I, also, the ending of Casino... When he gets killed with his brother, Pesci, oh, is brutal. the most brutal. Because he's still breathing. Brutal. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. That's, yeah, the, yeah. Most, that's the most brutal uh, murder I've ever seen yeah. in a film. He also when, this they day, when they throw him in the hole. It's and horrific. He's, he's still alive. Loved his brother. Yeah, he's it's covered horrific. In, he's covered in dust and he's doing the like. In the bruises. Uh, it's the worst. It, it's, it's worse than anything I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's great. It's, unbl it's amazing. Yeah, By the way, I, a shitty I, actor. And I watch it every night. Shitty actor doing that. Not brutal at all. No, because you have to be because you can't feel him love his brother. You don't care at all. I mean, the, it's it's also I think somebody else has pointed this out, but it's also funny that they're both from Chicago. But you know, Dino's just like, "Hey, it's me. I'm from Chicago." And then Pesci's like, "You cocksucking motherfucker! You yeah, motherfucker! Yeah. Yeah, you 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 got me in this town! You <laughs> cocksucking mother Jew motherfucker! You." It's great. Oh, I love. I love doing that voice. It's it cock sucking motherfucker. You. I I do it like once a day. I can't yeah, even help. No, it. Not, you I'm Jew just... motherfucker. You. <laughs> I do it on like important uh, Zoom calls at work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You put my money to sleep. You Jew motherfucker. Like, you Jew like, motherfucker. Put your fucking brain to sleep. <laughs> You want this pen? Huh? 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 <laughs> you bet that the big tough guy talking to my friend over there? Over there? <laughs> yeah, now I'm just losing it completely. Yeah. That bears. It's great. Just remember that? Yeah. yeah. Remember the bears. I, I love yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And then, of course, um, SNL. I, SNL. Who can. Saturday Night Live! <laughs> I keep getting my. One of my friends still does stand up. I keep trying to. I'm like, I will pay you $50 if you. Like as he's walking to the mic on stage, go good morning Vietnam, <laughs> and just kind of hold it for like five seconds, like really let it bomb. Everyone doing stand up that I know should they should just start treating it like a big weird art piece. Yeah, like just prank. Just the yell crowd. Leroy Jenkins. Yeah, for twenty seconds. Just yeah. go up and like do a monologue from like you know uh, Welcome Home Roscoe Jenkins <laughs> or some way, horrific movie. Did you just say that you know one person who still does stand up? Then, then I'm pretty. That I'm pretty close. Yeah, with. but dude, yeah. you used to know so many people that did stand up. That is fucking weird. How yeah, many? almost all of them either quit stand up or they're just very successful. Well, we so still know a lot of people that do stand up. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we like, just not don't consider I mean, them people that we like keep up. But with, that's what really. I'm saying. People that we we used to have yeah, a I lot of have, people that we kept up with. I literally have. I'm counting on my hand now. Three people in like an inner circle who probably still do stand up. Yeah, yeah. that's a fucking Noah crazily low amount. I guess. Yeah, it's Noah, and then I have like two other friends, yeah. and that's about it. I have like yeah. success friends that do stand up but it just feels like they're doing it because they like are they're stuck oh they're yeah, stuck like yeah. they don't even they care might as well, right? yeah, they're you know. like well i could kill myself yeah i don't or... i don't hear anyone like excited <laughs> i i haven't right. talked to anybody that's like got this new, like back in the day we right. used to be like this new big yeah, this new three minutes i don't hear anyone yeah. they're just like I, they pandemic? tell me they're like i think so i think yeah. it washed a lot of people because i hear people they're like i went to a mic i didn't recognize anybody and it's like well good yeah why are you doing going to a fucking open mic? Is dude? that I, it's probably it, probably mostly pandemic killed it, mm. and then there's also I think just like media wise that channel like stand up is just no longer. Well, yeah, you're better off starting a TikTok account. That you know, it's, it, there's yeah. so many different options. Yeah, yeah. Now. You can literally like I've, I mean I've almost like thought of this like a sociopath. Like, what if you sit down? You're like, okay, a TikTok account where it's. Every day, I try to create the no bones dog thing, like some viral thing. What is that? No bones. It's uh, I hate describing this stuff to you guys. What uh, don't you mention it? No, it's it's this. It's like the biggest thing on TikTok, where it's a guy picks up a dog, this fifteen year old pug, and it, for the morning, and he films it, and it's like sometimes the dog stands up when he picks it up, and sometimes the dog's like I'm sleepy and then I fall down, and uh -huh. that's a no bones day. So if it's a no bones oh, day, oh, I get that. Yeah, if it's a no bones day, it's like it's going to be a bad day. Like there's bad vibes out there. But if there's a, it's a bones day. It's like hey. This is going to be a good day. Oh, I get Bones it. Day. Man, I love the internet. I'm cynical yeah. about that. And that guy's about to get I... canceled for rape, probably. <laughs> <laughs> That's what always happens. I actually love that. But like, just something like that where it's like, okay, I'm going to draw fucking, you know, Sopranos characters if they were gay or yeah. whatever. And mm -hmm. then it's like a new one every day. And then, yeah. No, you'd have way better luck. I mean, I yeah, it's the... 
I, I don't know. Maybe I mean, it'll stand up. I, I it think might make a comeback, but right now it seems like it sucks yeah, and it's never I, coming back. I, I don't know. I'm yeah, tired I don't of think, it. I don't think so. I don't care yeah. about it at all, yeah. really. Never I, coming back. I only think about it when I see a lineup where I'm like, those people are retards. <laughs> and I'm like, fucking, I could. But I, I think about the amount of mental and physical energy it takes. To, and honestly, I would do stand up if I didn't have to see anyone. Right. But the thought of going out and like running into all the people and like hey, if you can I, walk I never would have quit stand up if I could just like hit like a teleport. If button. I, right. I press yeah. a button and I'm on stage and then back I press a button and I'm like back home, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would do it every night. Yeah, yeah, back in my bed with a bunch of cones. But I wouldn't yeah. even enjoy it that much. I mean, I, I enjoyed it, but it was like you know sometimes I'm like the crowd's bad and I want right. to like shoot you. I want to like that's, shoot the people in the crowd. That's me. My head. I'm like, that's I would... frowned upon in some in some states. That'd be so much like easier though if you could just teleport out of there. The hardest part. Part is being around it. Yeah. I'm always like, yeah. I would be a stand up if I was a famous stand up. Right. Like, that seems cool. If this podcast had like, you know, uh, 100,000 listeners and they like wanted us to come to a place, mm -hmm. I still wouldn't do it. We do a live podcast. Right. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. like, maybe we do five minutes each or whatever, like a joke, but I don't really care. And it's, I look at all the stand up going on right now and I'm like, who even, yeah. what does that matter? Like, even the you hear people talk about like the kingpin. I'm like, okay, like they're good comics, but let's can we be honest with ourselves? Like talking about what? Mark Norman's like not the king of New York. Like like how far have we come? Right, if we're that's talking about these guys. Be like, <laughs> Rupert Pupkin is that's the king Rupert of Pumpkin New York. The king of comedy. Rupert, you know what Rupert? I mean, though. Yeah, 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 like yeah. the people that are now the t you know that you're told are like, hey, they're killing it. I'm well, like, that's the thing is like the people you grew up with are now 65 years old. Yeah, and yelling yeah, yeah. and, and killing trans people yeah. in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Kidding. How boring is Kidding. Chappelle, though? Oh, the Chappelle special. Bro, I'm so <laughs> bored. Uh, you know what? I thought it taught me a lot. Honestly, did it teach you a lot? Yeah, the Clifford, the big boop. Uh, that was joke. maybe his worst joke he's ever told. I told you before. if I heard that at an open mic, I would be like, oh, my fucking God. 100%. Like, I yeah. would groan. That's yeah. terrible. What was Clifford again? I, I don't even remember how he got into it. He just calls him Clifford, Clifford the Big Red N-Word. Yeah, the Big Red N-Word. Yeah. But what was the setup? I, I remember the setup. I, 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 no, it's, I don't it's remember the setup. It's like Chappelle's shut up where it's like, I had a friend once. My friend was a sad man, and it's like, well, this, every, Clifford, everything right? is it, completely made up. Yeah, yeah. all made up. Yeah. Every story in the Chappelle special. Can you do was your like, impression of Chappelle you were yeah, doing yeah. the other day? Yeah, yeah. It was like, uh, so then I saw that bitch's Adam's apple in her sharp jawline, <laughs> and I went, kapow! <laughs> <laughs> And the whole crowd goes crazy, yeah. and you're Kapowie! like, and I'm like, I thought Dave Chappelle's like brilliant. Like, why right. is he just? He's literally just beating up a gay person <laughs> in this joke. <laughs> he's just saying they look like a man, right? Yeah, yeah. And he's and he goes, ah, I beat her titties up like chicken cutlets. <laughs> and you're like, what? Yeah, I mean, go, where's the joke? He's literally yeah. describing an old Warner Brothers cartoon. I mean, this is but a, with yes, trans people in insane. it. Insane. Yeah, yeah. So this then that a, trans bitch, she turned the gun around and it was pointed at her face, but she like, didn't realize it. <laughs> so it shot her in the face. Kapowie. And then that trans bitch thought my gun was her dick <laughs> and pulled the fucking trigger and shot her stupid man face and, off. And you then, he him motherfucker. <laughs> and then that trans bitch put up a sign that says it's rabbit season. <laughs> So I put up a sign that says it's duck season. I mean, he, start, he sounds Stupid like a trans bitch ran into a wall, painted like a tunnel. <laughs> like, is this is this Dave Chappelle or <laughs> that's funny? <sighs> is this Dave Chappelle or is this W. C. Fields on his deathbed, right. <laughs> just rambling about like groups he hates? Yeah, yeah. I don't even. I'm I'm fucking around. It, it, but but. I don't know. I think you're lying to yourself if you think that wasn't by far the laziest product. I, yeah, Dave I've Chappelle's liked a couple of his new specials, even though they're clearly not as funny as his early stuff, which is like some of the best comedy. Yeah, but they're still of all time smarter. They're still smarter, and there's this. still some really compared like, to Sticks the and, Sticks other and Stones, fucking specials. Six yeah. and Stones, I think, was probably the best one. The Jesse Smollett stuff was very funny. Equanimity uh, the, was good. Equanimity is like, um, like fine. Um, Bird Revelation, I liked a lot. I did too. I think it's my I favorite. Did too. Of them That's all. the Belly Store yeah, one, right? Yeah. Or the Belly Room. Belly Room, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I liked that one. But then it went to the. Hey, I know it's the middle of a pandemic. I deserve $50 million. I'm already yep. a millionaire. Every show I do, I make $140,000. Mm -hmm. uh, I deserve $50 million uh, for a contract I completely violated. Yeah. Because people always act like it's like, oh, he didn't do the other two seasons. No, it was it was two more seasons of Chappelle's show. It was two movies written and starring Dave Chappelle. 
And it was a new series developed and created by Dave Chappelle. And we're supposed to think it's evil white men. He like, did like he did three percent of his contract and is mad that he right. did not get paid for the fifty million dollars. And then he wants to retroactively gain the money he got that gave him the clout that made him the legend he is today. Right. It's like you can't have it all. Like you have to you give do, up on that. And and that's do, the whole reason we love you for leaving that on the I, table. And I hate like the narrative of like, and I left it on the table. It's like, dude, you do five shows. You make a million dollars. That's five hours of work. Like, stop acting like it's like, yeah, you did turn down $50 million, but it's like, and then I went back to 20 years of putting cans on lids at the bean factory. It's yeah. like, no, dude, no, you just did stand up. And it's not even that. It's the timing of that. Yeah. Well, that's why you have that in the you middle have, of a pandemic when you, everyone's unemployed. Right. Exactly. That makes you respect like com comedians like Brandon Schaub. <laughs> yeah, I know. Exactly. <laughs> Brendan is not yeah. like I saw. I saw. Well, Luke. he's releasing honest specials, and he's not getting right. paid a trillion dollars. He just does the work. Right. He's just a guy who loves comedy. He's loved yeah. it his whole life. Um, I watched Louis in person That's in Long amazing. Beach. Let's talk yeah, about yeah. That. So I went to. So first off, I went to the Louis show because I fucking I hate women, dog. <laughs> and, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was. So it you was, went to the Louis show, right? Like you fucking raped a bitch, yeah, and then you like so went I, to the Louis I, show, right? That's how you got to get tickets, dog. Yeah. You got to prove yeah. prove rape. Yeah. What if in um, line to the auditorium was like a bunch of dudes? Every every dude was turned around, jacking <laughs> off to the chick. Yeah, well, everyone jokingly, on the metro system's jacking off. Yeah, well, I was joking. I put it on Instagram because I was like, "Fuck it, I don't care." Everybody, I'm can glad touch you me. did that by yeah, the yeah. way, because I, I know a lot of people that know you and I that I uh, probably you know yeah, yeah. consider us. I was like, yeah, I don't you know, know. Louis hasn't stopped being funny. Yeah, yeah. but no, I they, jokingly, I jokingly put up. I go saw the Louis show was great. He's one of the greatest comedians of all time. And then the next slide was. Uh, I just like as a quick joke. I just go. Uh, it was kind of disturbing. The whole crowd started a "fuck women" chant, though. That's funny. I and just then saw the that. amount of people who messaged me, like, "Did they really do?" It's like, no, you idiot. Idiots. What are you talking Fucking about? I mean, everybody in crowd, like it was, there was a lot of bros, which does suck now that it's a lot of like, dude, fucking Louie. Sure. Because yeah. it pushed out a lot of the, like the arty people. Yeah, the smarter. I would rather yeah, see. Yeah, right. Um, but it, there was like still that I was like, it's like, ah, what if he jerked off? Right. It's, mm -hmm. it's like clearly people are like, yeah, I don't like what he did, but also he's one of the greatest comedians of all time. And I think he truly yeah. do. We live in a culture where so somebody goes to jail. Should they not be able to have a job again? Mm -hmm. Should they not be allowed to work? No, Michael Vick's OK. Michael Vick played again and, and he did way worse than what Louis did. Yeah. People <laughs> sin and fall short of the grace of uh, God yeah, every day. I mean, it's just so Louis C.K. definitely has are, way overpaid punishment wise oh, for, yeah. for what way he did. too much yeah he yeah. was a victim of a, of a time uh, 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 he was a bad timing that right. shit came out in any other time in human history it would be like that sucks five months off right he's back yeah, we yeah. love you it doesn't really matter well he became the like arguing point he became for the trump whole for people that couldn't get trump out yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was it was like that and then it was like well you like people were equating with like the weinstein spacey and it's like well it's not that oh, it's so and then crazy. it just became it became like this touchstone thing where it's like oh i can't ever say i like louis again mm -hmm. even like saying i went to a show of his is like a, no, you're like nervous yeah i'm like nervous publicly. i'm like like that's like a revolutionary well, did you see act or the, something a lot of uh, morons we used to know in comedy there was people out front of the improv saying, when yeah. he was there and they're doing the day comedy. after yeah they're doing comedy on the sidewalk right. with a karaoke machine to nobody to, right to, to their to their other uh, mentally challenged yeah. friends <laughs> and uh like saying like hire comics that don't abuse right yeah, yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah name yeah. names Please don't. I don't want to get. I don't, I don't want, want this to get clipped into this. an Instagram. There we know. They're the usual suspects. Yeah, I don't want this you know to get I'm clipped and then uploaded to Instagram. But uh, yeah, say. just just you know, obviously what he did was inappropriate. He was asking women that he was uh, maybe technically their boss. Hey, yeah. do you mind if I check off? They said yes, and, he, and but you can't ask. They said yes, and he did. Well, yeah, it. you're in a you're in a power position. In power That's position, you yeah. can't do it. Yeah. Okay, well, like the inappropriate was, one was the one at work. That's the, That's the, the one. Turn, and then there was a girl on the phone where you like didn't tell her. Like that was Matt. A those suck. Didn't those tell. Suck. What do you mean? He started like jerking off on the phone with somebody he knew, and then she was like, "Are you jerking off?" Like on the phone, and he's like, "Yeah," and she's like, "Don't do that." And he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry." Yeah, which is like still like you know he was like, but yeah, you just don't you know. Yeah, that, that sucks. That once a day. Yeah. The worst one was the one <laughs> when he asked the woman at work. You're did, Joey's dressed like the Wolf of Wall Street uh, penny stock calling scene. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's watching you jerk it off. Big suit. I'm robo dialing trying to find yeah. a chick's voice. Reeling him in. <laughs> pretending you're about to fuck him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> robo dialing to get pussy. <laughs> Listen, I got a great cock I could sit you on today. Yeah. 
Do you trust me, Stephanie? Do you downtown trust me? Los Angeles, right now. Downtown Los Angeles got my own gym. <laughs> he goes, not interested. Okay, next. Next. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry you didn't want to seize an opportunity today. <laughs> <laughs> You show me one chick, you fuck. I quit my job. I come work for you right now. <laughs> um, but, um, yeah, no, I saw the show, and it was great. Um, you know Shane, what's real quick, though? Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. We haven't heard Louis's side of any of it yet, and well, we probably never will. It's good. He, he shouldn't say it. He, he talks shouldn't. about it a little. No, yeah, but he doesn't actually, in a real way, like... We all know his side. No, he I was mean, a like, we he haven't liked... seen the, what, the Marin interview, the Rogan interview. Right. The end of days interview where maybe he does it when he's 75 and he actually gets like, there's no mystery. We know exactly what happened. It's not. I, well, I think it's just, just saying, he was I've a heard horny guy. The grapevine from a lot of people that know him. And it's like, he, there's a lot he could say that well, he, he hasn't he said. He had that joke about, about how these women acted and were like, they were talking about like having threesomes with him. And it's like, not how it was posed in the article where it was like this you know, mm -hmm. what, what, shocking event. Like, uh, so here, like a lot of them were preludes to somebody wanting to fuck him. My interpretation of the whole thing is that flirtation might have been there. And mm -hmm. I don't think that that's uh, negating the, the criticism that's coming from the people that are criticizing him. I, di I don't necessarily think it. I, I don't think it's nearly as egregious as what they're saying. But they're acknowledging the fact that, hey, you know, what they would say is even if they were flirting, it's still not okay. You're in a position of power and you can't uh, ask them if you can jack off in front of them because they're obligated yeah. to and they'll feel like they have to. But, he, yeah. well, but, but here's um, the thing. That is, I, I, I do think that that's a point. They're making a point, right? But, but what is the punishment for that? Maybe you can't do stand-up for three days <laughs> right right exactly exactly yeah no honestly like that's what it would have been your disagreement your disagreement is what it should be today one week yeah. off one week off right you know or what if you're writing on that show you get fired from the show just oh, like exactly. you would yeah. any show. So oh, you lose the yeah. show exactly yeah, yeah. exactly yeah. But, like i said the worst thing he did was the one when he was like working on that show and mm -hmm. asked the co-worker because that's just right. crazy you ask a co-worker that yeah but this whole idea that he was this Louis C.K. guy at the like he wasn't Louis C.K. when most of these happened. Right, he was Louis C.K. in like two thousand four. Yeah, he was a working writer comedian. He wasn't right. like this. But this still king is, of comedy. You, you can't have a power like if it's like a PA no, yeah, he still type was woman. technically their boss maybe yeah. or he could, well, that's he could why get I them say the one at work stuff. but the one no he could the, get them gigs even the in those cases at the festival oh, and they yeah, went upstairs yeah, yeah, yeah. and they act that was the one where they kept acting like he abused his power and he was this and he like ruined their right. lives Guess afterwards ruined, i'm like what are you like he what? abused his ruin their lives makes no sense in any of those cases at all right. that's no, nonsense well, I th I think, abused his power yes sure well, i think it's i think it's even like like you're saying it's literally like okay did he do something wrong or not it's like I think the the more the argument for me is like okay, do people deserve to do something bad, and then repent and then go on with their lives? It's literally That's like mine too. It's yeah. literally like the same thing of like should a criminal who served his time done his punishment? Right. Should he be allowed back into normal society? I'm yeah. heavily pro crook. By the yeah. way, I'm fucking around here a little bit, uh -huh. but not really. But yeah, I kind of yeah, am. But right, I'm not, right. not really. I actually mean this. What is the point <laughs> of power if you don't abuse it? <laughs> Like, why work to get anywhere in life if you can't ultimately abuse what you've built? Well, you mm -hmm. you abuse it gracefully. In a graceful manner. Mm -hmm. And he didn't quite do he that. He should have got hookers. Just lots of hookers. Yeah. Because he was sure. making money. Or, or just spend, like, three more days being like, let's have dinner. And then yeah. let's talk tomorrow. That's literally, that's then, literally and then, he wasn't and then good we at fucking. And, yeah. then, and then you go, hey, listen, we're, we're friends now. Yeah. I have this thing. I like to jag off in front of chicks. <laughs> okay, yeah. No, that literally is it because right. it's, it's like the same thing as like if you were like if you're at school, like let's say, like in high school, and you liked some girl, you want to be like, you know, walk up to her and be like, hey, I'm in love with you. Exactly. What do you think? And she'd be like, oh my, what the fuck? It's just like, hey, do you want to go, you know, let's go like down to the Sonic, let's hang <laughs> out. 
And then it's like a slow, and then you just fuck right. the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah the whole yeah. time you're trying to fuck the shit out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but no, that's it's like that's like the slow. You know, you dip yeah. your instead of just being like, "Hey, can I go?" You know, it's the even Aziz if there's a little syndrome. bit flirting, it's like, "Hey, it's, this, it's yeah. the same thing as these." Dude. Yeah, exactly. You just yeah. have to time it. And you have to. I think re- if a woman walked signal. up to me and was like, "Hey, can I suck your cock?" I would be like, "Oh my god!" Like I would still do it, but I would there would be I a little more. Like, I would ask, I'd be like, "Okay, are you crazy?" Like, yeah. all right, I would ask. Yeah, I would still like, "Let me ask you twenty questions yeah, yeah let me yeah. Look, like what, make her are you opener. employed I, right. where do you live and okay she, go ahead you can shut me up she's clearly her... crazy and i'm like oh, all right let's get in here <laughs> <laughs> you look at his bouquet hey, look over here crazy <laughs> bitch yeah. i throw, throw my cigarette down stamp it out <laughs> i make her open her mouth check her incisors <laughs> like what are those teeth like what is yeah, big yeah. all right all right, all right. okay <laughs> Uh, I'd check her gums. Yeah, yeah. Treat, <laughs> treat her West, like a slave. Yeah, Westminster, Westminster dog show. <laughs> Lift her arms up. Be like, yeah, you look good enough to me. Yeah, you b- big fedora. Press so how, how? So the special. So the the show uh, Shane opened for him. Shane opened was very very funny. Um, and then Louie came out, and it was great. I mean, it wasn't you know it wasn't like 2011 era like fastball Louie. He's clearly older and. But it was like the thing I was most grateful. It's not. Like, it's not like. Boomer. And he's also sorry to interrupt again. Yeah, yeah. But he's also beaten down, which I sensed a palpable energy from him in his last sincerely special. Yeah, I, I think, think he's. Uh, I think there's a. I think there's a little bit of that. I do. I do think, I think there's certainly about a depression. It all. It's like really about the, the, the new stuff. Does he seem sad? I mean, his stuff was always like sad. I think there is more a probably when he goes off stage, there is a palpable more depression type thing. But on stage, you could still see, like, oh, I'm having fun. I'm doing, like, those old classic Louie-style jokes. Mm-hmm. And and the, the thing I love the most is it wasn't fucking... I was worried I'd go there and it's boomer comedy where it's like, and you can't say anything these days. You know, how come I can't make fun of a train? And I'm like, oh, my God, dude. Like, I don't even care about the points you're making. This is boring. Right? Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Like, you're just like Nick DePaul and you got, like, sandworms in your head. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're just putting Trayvon Martin on the cover of your DVD because <laughs> right, you're Jesus. insane. Um, it was like, it was like, no, here's interest. He even had, like, interesting stuff to say, but he's like, yeah, I don't understand people anymore. You know, young people, I don't understand. And that's good because I should die. You know, we have people around from the 50s, and already it's a problem. Can you yeah, imagine if they didn't bad. die? God, I missed this. He's like, you already you go to a restaurant, and they're like, what's the, Q- the QR code? What is that? They need to die so <laughs> society can progress. And one day you will be that, and you will need to go as well. Yeah. We the weirdest this- part was, at one point, he said, so my daughters, you know, they're both in college. And you could hear the whole audience go like, <gasps> Like like people are literally like, yeah, oh my shocking. god, yeah, yeah. His daughters yeah. are like pussy hat wearing like feminists. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They're yeah. like they all. The dress whole like, thing fucked him up with his daughters. They the all dress like uh, Kristen Cinema. Mm. Yeah, the Congresswoman. Yeah, the Congress. She was like hated for being like Republican. Yeah. I'm a Clearly, I'm, I'm, I'm an idiot. Go I'm, on. I'm submitting packets for Jay Leno, so I'm all up on all the news. <laughs> no, I'm just saying the Ramus. Go please. You hear about this dumb bitch? <laughs> this dumb Kristen Cinema bitch. Um, yeah, and the sh- and yeah, the show was just really good. I was, and I had never seen him live, so I was thankful to you know, especially after Norm passed, and I got to see Norm live, and I was very thankful for that. I was like, it's great that I got to see him, and now he can go die, you know, and it, I won't be like, oh, I never got to see him. I have live. to go see Louis. It's it's the last thing. I saw yeah. Louis live before. I saw him at the comedy store. Luke Schwartz got me in. I was very, it's nice. Chris Rock was there. Mark Marin was there. Yeah. It was a great night. I, I'd never done that with him, and it just, I was just like, yeah, I'll just get to it. Where did and then you see he got, Norm? I saw Norm at Letterman, the, he, the last oh, Letterman. Oh, what a wow. No way. Because I was working on the show, yeah. That yeah. is the most legendary appearance. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. His famous uh, World War II bit. Yeah, of course. And then he cried at Letterman. He cried at the end, yeah, so, yeah. That's probably the single greatest Norm gig that uh, you could see. I felt, I, was, I felt very thankful to get to see that, yeah. And what, how, what size is that audience? Letterman? Probably about four fifty. Yeah, it was exactly four fifty. So it's not actually. like a, ma- a massive theater with uh, five thousand people. Is, yeah, it's a small theater because it's got that. It's got the balcony, which balcony probably seats about one fifty. The lower tier is about three hundred. So. Still, you're you're just you know you're amongst the group of a few hundred people that saw that. Yeah, I was like right I, there. Could could have spit on the man if I wanted to. Yeah, and I I, I heard also saw that- Obama in that theater. Obama? Yeah, Obama. Yeah, you saw Stern. I saw Stern in that theater too, yeah. And I remember you were Stern like, came on and goes, So uh so Letterman, you uh you don't want to ask, right? Oh, was that that was before the scandal, right? No, sorry, that's why I just love doing the Stern me and my friend have been doing like just uh, the Stern impression where we're just talking to 
Like Joey's on Stern. I'm like, so Joey, you get a lot of ass, right? Yeah. You're in that apartment all day. You got to get a lot yeah, of ass. You ever do anal? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you, ever, you ever just bring chicks up? And yeah. <laughs> come on their face. They're like, uh, I'm here to promote my book. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, no, they, yeah, it was great. It was, it was just great to see him. Um, That's awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm it's highly jealous of I'm that. Jealous. All right, can Keep I tell going. you one joke that he did? Of course. Of course. The Louis joke is he goes. Just do uh, his whole act. I'll do right his whole now. act. The one I, that really made me laugh because it felt like such an, a Louis joke, especially the end of it. And you'll recognize on the end what's the part that really reminds me of a Louis joke is he's like, hey, you know, there's a lot of changes with COVID now. You know, I uh, pretty much stay in my apartment. About once a week, I go to buy new bananas because that's what I do. I buy bananas and wait till it's time to throw them out and get new ones. So I'm at the grocery store and I'm. Um, you know, co with COVID, it's like I got to stay away from everybody. There's a woman; she happened to be a black woman at the bananas, and you know, normally I go up, I hey, you know, look at these bananas. I go get get a pack of bananas, go on my day. But you know, it's because of COVID, I'm standing back, so I'm waiting for her to get her bananas and then leave. And she's taking a really long time with this, these bananas, and I realize in the back of my head to anybody who's not me, they're like, it to me, it looks like I'm just like, look at her eating all the fucking bananas <laughs> he's like so i got i was like oh no so i got nervous and i went over to the strawberries and there's of course a fucking jew at the strawberries <laughs> oh this is a good one fucking jew Piece what was the shit. one that's great what was the one with the panties oh the panties one yeah it really made me laugh it was like it was kind of his opener which is kind of ballsy considering the scandal he goes i had a girlfriend um she was in Paris. I had to go there because none of you guys would talk to me for a while. Um, but uh, we couldn't see each other because, you know, disease and death and everything. So she sent me little uh, gifts in the mail, little trinkets like jokes. She sent me a, a pair of little girl's panties, like 10 year old girl's panties. And I freaked out. I was like, I can't you can't fucking send this to me. And she's like, what? I was like, I'm like, we're not like you guys here. Like, I can, I can never get rid of these. Right. He's like, can you imagine? He's like, I can't. You can't, if I get seen throwing a little girl's panties away, <laughs> how that looks, even if I throw them away wrapped in a bag, duct taped up, it's that worse. looks even worse. He goes, even if I, if I burn them, that looks terrible. He goes, even if I cut them into 50 little pieces and every day I threw away a little piece <laughs> the in, a, in a different trash can around the city, that would look terrible. So, uh, so I actually, I, I'm wearing them right now. He goes, I wear them. Opener, I wear them every day. It's my only escape, and I oh, I wash them by man. hand. I'm getting so jealous right I now. I wash them by hand, and I blow on them to dry them. I just go. <laughs> Anyone who hasn't forgiven Louis is a fucking piece of shit. No, you just don't opinion. like good things. It's the same people that are like they refuse to watch. No, you're like, a bad person. They refuse to watch Quentin Tarantino movies. Yeah, well, I think it's I there's think it's there's just... people out there that like don't they don't watch the newest Tarantino. They hate Lou. They everything they like is bad. Yeah, like all the art they consume is horrifically uninteresting and bad. Well, I think you because get so they've they've yeah, caught they've, up in your tribe. They've they've yeah. yeah they've committed to this tribe mentality where right. it's like no no nah, no, nah. and it's also can... it's not even a tribe thing. It's a it's a let's get ri let's let's. Let's change the definition of what is good to fit uh, the contributions of our own mediocrity. Uh -huh. It doesn't align with my radical values, which I use to be interesting. Which, which I also, also use, use to kind of bully people. Exactly. And I yeah. use the bully and also yeah. make yeah. people think that what I do is good. Right, yeah. Which isn't. Mm -hmm. No, nothing. So it's yeah. like if we change... If if we try and you know, for lack of a better term, I hate this you know gaslight, but like if we gaslight you know the public into thinking that that's bad, this is good, which isn't. It's a smart strategy. They're using righteous uh, indignation and the moral high ground. They're they're painting this narrative that that you're uh, a bad person morally if, if you if you uh, disagree with my opinions. It's a it's a smart strategy. They, they, yeah, they've made ground. They get in the news with it. But anyone with, like, you know, any kind of sense can easily tell, you know. Right. Well, you're, it's, you're, this it's is also highly immature. It, it, it's, it's also funny because, you know, I feel like the thing I like about you guys is we don't necessarily exist in these these groups where it's like I can be like, oh, I love Louie and I'm going to watch him. And then also I can be like, I hated Dave's special. Mm -hmm. Like I can be like, I love, I want to watch Louie. I also don't want to see millionaires talk about cancel culture because it's not right. fucking which funny. Which I feel like is and what makes yeah. us very, yeah. which is what I feel like makes us very reasonable and mm -hmm. like timely. Like we're right. not, 
out of touch. Like I'm will I love Dave Chappelle. I think he's right. the greatest stand up of all time, probably. Mm. Before twenty eighteen. Before yeah, yeah, like and it's like that's what it is. Like I'm not I, I, I'm not gonna lie though. I'm not gonna like watch the closer and be like, yeah, these fucking yeah. He, no, but you're right. He's I the trans he's, he's the goat. Yeah, but, like it's like lame. Yeah, it's like Corey, that yeah, was a yeah, bad that, that special. Dude. He's he's you know what it's funny. He's he's like now Instagram comment comedy where he's the guy who go low key Dave the goat. And it's like, I that's fucking, what he, that's his place in comedy now. Well, you know it's what? It's for I, guys who work at PacSun <laughs> to think yeah, he's right. the greatest no, comedian of all like time. It's like a bunch of Billabong employees <laughs> in the crowd just like losing their minds because he like said a bad thing. Dude, I told you. A I ref like, at Foot Locker is yeah, telling me. Oh, you, yeah. you watch The Closer and the audience looks like they're at a Dallas Cowboys game. It's crazy, They all look actually. like completely idiots. Yeah. yeah. They look like Huge morons. sneakers and jean shorts. They look like the same type of people that were like, I fucking love when Dak, uh, you know, <laughs> uh, refused to kneel. Right. <laughs> well, it's 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 the people who are like it's it's like you're always joking. It's it's people who then go get the 44 ounce soda for their construction job. Yeah, and they're like Dave, dude, I fucking love Dave because I'm Republican. I work 90 hours a week. He's like, because you gotta you, work hard. I'll tell you, I, uh, Dave Chappelle works every fucking night, and yeah. usually them blacks don't have good ethic. <laughs> but Mr. Chappelle, he's one of the good ones. He's one of the good one ones. The good I'll ones, tell yeah. you. You know, I know, and they spit in a spittoon right. <laughs> in know, their living room. I know Dave's the goat because every special ends with "Where is my mind?" piano cover, <laughs> and that's what the goat does. You yeah. know what's with Chappelle too? It's like goats are supposed to go away. Like yeah. go, go and observe the world for longer goats let than other people call them goats. Right? Yes, like, it's like, like enough like, of you doing it, and then enough of the pictures of you and celebrities at the right. end of the special. Like, like it's uh, like, annoying. Like for like a uh, Kendrick type figure. Like there's even that debate. Like should he release another album or should he just go away and kind of be yeah the the best forever? Right. You know. Well, he he'll probably release. I think he's working on one should more release right? another album. But you should always keep releasing stuff but you can do it every five or six years right but I, do you think there's a point where it's like an m&m type of thing where it's like yeah you should in rap there might if be it, that. In, in rap I, especially never, well, but in i rap, think in comedy there kind of should be too unless you're like norm right norm's the only guy who kept being funny i mean you got like prior Louis, was doing Louis, it forever though. carlin did it forever Louis, Louis a little bit carlin i always i never liked carlin <laughs> To but but honest. but he didn't. It, so he, he didn't like him when he was young. But he stayed that level of quality. In, yeah, uh, yeah. Well, at least, and, and he, at least like he, in filmmaking, for example, uh, you know, Quentin Tarantino. Like Tarantino's well, afraid always, of this happening. That's says, why he says he's going to retire. But there are a bunch. But I don't of think I don't think it applies to filmmaking. Well, there's a bunch. I honestly, of, don't think it applies. No, there's a bunch of examples. Yeah. And uh, Scorsese's, you know, 108. Still making, yeah, and still making really famous, good movies. Very, very Infamous relevant Infamous rapist films. Polanski. I, I hate to say it. He still makes very good movies. Right, yeah. He He's made The Pianist man. at like, what, like 70 or whatever? Mm -hmm. I don't know how old he is now. Yeah. yeah. I just rewatched Pianist. The fucking crazy movie, man. Yeah. Polanski I also... Very good. He, his most recent movies are amazing. He's yeah. still making movies. No, I know. And he also directed Cuties. <laughs> The guy is a mo he's a he's a I don't he's a dirty yeah. monster. He's a Polanski, dirty. He's a dirty. Polanski freak. Uh, is doing Vaseline commercials, <laughs> and he's I saw him. He was selling hot tubs. Right. I always say, I, 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 <laughs> on I ninety five to Bakersfield. He, he goes. He goes. You guys think pools are fun? Let yeah. me tell you about hot tubs. Hot tubs. <laughs> You they should come get undone. rid of all the evidence. Right. Because it's so hot, your cum dies. <laughs> no one can tell which the DNA inside of you. Because I've had a couple of fun times in pools. <laughs> you want to hear about my fun my. in hot tubs? But but uh, so I always have to make this disclaimer. Uh, you separate the art, the artist from the uh, the art. Sure. Yeah. So yeah. so I love Chinatown and I love these movies. Woody Allen, I love a lot of his sure, movies. Exactly. Still, yeah. I I, I don't really like completely. his movies. Hundred yeah. percent. Yeah, but but so Polanski, <laughs> I know. So disclaimer. That's all. Disclaimer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go oh, on. I, I just I just watched Rosemary's Baby this year, and it's a fantastic. fantastic that movie, movie. kicks fucking Listen, ass. In, um, I just watched The Ghost Rider within like the last. Couple oh, is that the years. Ewan McGregor one? Yeah, dude. I haven't seen that one, but I heard it's, it's great. Amazing. Yeah. You know, in twenty years, Drake will be Woody Allen. He's yeah. already he's Drake kind is of already Woody, Woody, Woody Allen. Woody Allen. Yeah, he's kind of already. Jace has a great cartoon about. I made a cartoon. I took down Drake, folks. You got took him, him down because I'm I'm the greatest president <laughs> of all time. Me. You cucks like somebody punching up. 
Punching up? Jay Savory. Uh, have you ever heard, the pin is mightier than the sword, fellas? <laughs> Can you imagine if I was like that? I would hope that you would cut my head off with a knife. <laughs> The pair, the pair, you know, some people say the clowns, you know, they used to keep the king humble. The, je- <laughs> the, the, the jester kept the king down to earth. Jester was the only guy that could really talk to the king. Yeah. Oh, somebody, somebody messaged me that the other day because I did that thing about just rich comedians. And somebody messaged me like, the jester always kept the king humble for oh. the pay. And I was like, you should... Ugh. Kill yourself. He got, he should because you, sir, I quit. I, yeah. You made me quit. <laughs> He's like the guy who, like in middle school, would be like, "No, dude, real eyes, real eyes, real eyes." <laughs> Just have blown away. It's the kid that draws the S. Yeah, in the, the, super, the super S. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Dude. How long are we done, Jordan? Wow. Yeah, I'm starting to get sweaty again. Yeah, it's a little yeah. hot here now. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't believe we were here in the we, summer. We've been bringing the heat. Yeah, bringing the you heat. You know, right, folks? Yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you think about it, life will never go back to the way it was, and it wasn't good back then. Exactly. Think about it. <laughs> so now it's worse, and we're stuck there. <laughs> We are we are pining for days when we barely wanted to kill ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the truth. <laughs> Honestly, I'm 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 ready for another like pandemic. You just like kick into high gear, dude. I feel like I Do fucked it. this pandemic up so much. Like every move I did, I fucked up. I bad? worked I worked for the whole first year. Yeah, got COVID because I was working. You need I didn't get that year that year of unemployment. Even the unemployment I got, my you old my job later. tried to suck it out of me. Yeah, those fucks. Tried to take it back. I botched those it quite bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, we both botched it. I botched it quite bad. I, I was, yeah, Joey uh, worked for like five months of it. You right. worked like the whole well, time. Well, no, no. I botched it by... I, I had a good chunk of like maybe... Okay, well, uh, May to uh, November. No, December. May to December, no working. And I spent that entire block of time, though... Grinding out internet poker about yeah. 14 hours a day. Just you would send us pic- away. pictures of you and uh, fucking back home, like these weird underground Oh, yeah. Rooms. Dude, I moved back in with my parents at yeah. some point because my rent was like an equal amount to the unemployment, so I'm breaking even. Right. And then poker, I'm breaking even because it's a hard fucking game, and I'm, I'm winning sometimes, and I'm up, and I'm up. Every time I win, I raise the stakes. Mm-hmm. But I spent, the, I spent that entire time... I didn't. I, I probably walked fifty steps a day. Right. So incredibly unhealthy. <laughs> fifty steps I'm, a day. I'm, I'm getting hammered all You're the like time. You're like being wheeled to the bathroom. Right. <laughs> yeah. I'm. I've got. I'm buying pills from a guy on the internet. I remember you would Facetime me sometimes. I won't yeah. say that who you were with at the time, but you would Facetime me, and I'd be like. Hey, where's your roommate? He'd be like, ah, oh, that cocksucker's in the other room. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> like, loudly into meanwhile, your phone. He's going like, yeah, hey, qu- <laughs> don't say that about me. <laughs> no, literally, Dip. he's indoors. Yeah, yeah. like, Fuck him. I hate his guts. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah it was a rough off. time for yeah. everybody. You know, he, he's a good guy. He's getting on my nerves during that period of time, but he's fine. We fine all person. we all got at each other. I yelled at Katie when we were moving out, which had never happened. Oh shit, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What happened? It was kind of almost comical. She kept like being like, "You, you like, she would go through the fridge and be like, "Do you want to keep these beans?" I'm like, "I don't." Make an executive decision. He goes, what are you a fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, go, Why do you shut your whore <laughs> mouth, pig? <laughs> Fuck you need me you. to wipe your ass, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> total, to, totally in the wrong. It was getting insulting. Like Katie's, it like, was like it was kept like, like what, what about Oreos? no, literally like like what about what? Well, don't say or I didn't have Oreos. Okay. You suck Oreos. it out. Oreos, I'll cut you your, keep. Cut yeah. your head off with a goddamn knife. Ah. She'd be like, you want these macaroni shells? And I'm like, they're. 50 cents like just oh, that shit and then yeah. it eventually got to the point where this is the only time i've ever done something in my this in my life i'm like no no it's fine i'll take care of it and i got the bean and i just i chucked it into the trash as hard as i could i was like no we get rid of this too <laughs> just throw it in as hard as i can passive aggressive passive psychopath ag- just psycho no it's fine <laughs> Just, just like throwing my arm out, throwing these bean cans. Like they're getting like they're denting and like leaking in the trash. And your brother's can. fiance, right? And my brother's fiance, a very dear important person in my life. No, uh, no, yeah. Katie, we'll get rid of the fucking beans. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, I wanted to keep them. Thanks. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> 
No, literally, but it was just the stress. It was like right after. Now I have to like. I feel like to defend myself. It was right after I got COVID. Like, yeah, and I know. Well, that, that's everything. the only reason I brought yeah. that up is that it was everybody had stress. Nobody mm-hmm. reacted great to it. Yeah, it's like you, you kind of have to give everybody a little bit. Of right. An, not a total excuse, but the, you got a little bit. Of My, I was mad that like it kept getting just progressively worse for me until it kind of reached a peak you know well, what no, I mean? that's how exhaustion works it's like yeah. exhaustion. well no like, and then it was life events on top i was like exhausted because it was like okay let's say it's march to fucking december was just like fuck this sucks but i'm working in person every day and then it's like i got covid december and then like everything kept going wrong exactly. after that yeah and it's like dude i was already fucking it's like you're running a half marathon and then at the half marathon point they're like oh by the way this is a marathon so you're now like halfway <laughs> right. done and and the boston bomber like right. sets off and you're like a, and now, now your leg has been yeah, ripped exactly. off by a pressure cooker yeah, yeah. exactly yeah no. But anyway, hey, I'm still here. I'm still We're breathing. We're all still here. Yeah. Guess what? Now he's thriving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still standing, Ray. Yeah. Never got me down, Ray. We should do a big Tony Robbins ending. Yeah. Noah wants to know if we, if you guys need beer. I think we're okay. Yeah, I think well, you're fine. Are you sure? Oh wait, no, tell him. I don't. I don't drink in, anymore. Are you done drinking? Yeah, I think I'm sober. For how yeah. long? I th- I think maybe forever. For the next honestly, hour? for the next. Did buddy, something happen? What's the last time you drank? What buddy, I'm waiting until five o'clock. You, you uh, always act like United you- Arab Emirates time. <laughs> but you can hold your liquor pretty well. Like yeah, you that doesn't, mean, doesn't like, mean you have a drinking problem. Yeah. Well, did you though? Like, I, you, well, I think I have an addiction problem. You know, I've drank with you a number of times where you like it's like your first time in a while. Like, you seem like you're good at. Yeah, I think it was. I think I was definitely. I mean, you out. knew me when I first moved here, and I was definitely you were drinking an every night. Yeah, you. yeah. And then I think I was not white knuckling it, but it'd be like, yeah, every two weeks I would drink, and but then it was like filling in other addictions in the meantime, and then. Uh, it was like one, it was like maybe a month and a half ago, I was like, I drove down to Newport Beach to just put my goo inside this woman, you know, mm-hmm. and uh, I was drinking with her and I just dr- drunk drove all the way back to Los Angeles from Newport Beach. And I was like, oh yeah, maybe I fucking, you got like, was really, it also got, like, really like drunk I got with her? hammered and I banged some chick I didn't really like and then I drove and it was, no, all... it was just more like, yeah, I, was it yeah. associated to the big fat pig? <laughs> <laughs> She's actually pretty, pretty attractive. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm yeah, kidding. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, if she was hot, no, but was it associated she, she was with like the a sh- ten? Jason like would be drinking every night. Shame no, 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 it wasn't. That. It was literally just I like it was literally sometimes. just like I did not even need to drink. Like right. I've been talking to this person for a long time. Oh, we we're just gonna have a good time, and it's like, yeah, I'll drink fucking eight, five gin and tonics, and then it's like, well, shit. Now I, I guess I'll drunk drive back home for an hour and fifteen minutes. So just the drive yeah. bummed you out so much. The drive bummed me out, and I think it just well, got thinking to thinking about why you shouldn't have done that. Yeah, long and I think it no, just the drive the is very irresponsible. But I don't yeah. think that. First of all, I wouldn't do that because I'm not irresponsible. Right, Joe, he does not own a car. He would. Joey yeah. would be Joey in would a prison on the moon. Responsibly spend ninety dollars <laughs> <Right. laughs> on an Uber. If Joey would have so many DUIs, they would remove his legs, so he cannot press a gas pedal anymore. <laughs> well, let's- <laughs> the, the, the judge orders an amputation of the right leg. I mean, listen. Even when I had a car, I was Ubering everywhere. Every right, time right, I had right. Joey's car was full of no, cobwebs. I had, I had right. a DUI when I was uh, like seventeen. Oh, so you got, and, and I then, never got one. Yeah, so, so I never got burned. Well, you know, I would have learned it from being an adult. Right. Anyways, unlike you. <laughs> goofing. But no, so, but I, I, what I will say, though, is right now, if I get very hammered, I could go drive two hours, and it's not going to prevent me from, it's not going to make me quit drinking. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Was it's, it just building that you're doing it too often? Yeah, there's not, there's, you know, it's like, I think for some people, it's not like I have the lost weekend, and I'm running down the street, and there's all the fucking Yeah, you're neon speeding signs. down the road in a car. Yeah, yeah speeding much, down much, the road in a car. Much cooler, yeah, yeah. much safer. No, it's just like, yeah, I just don't want to drink for a long time, and then I was kind of like, yeah, maybe I'll just keep this going forever. I was and then asked, I pray every morning now. <laughs> I, pray, really? I really do. I pray every morning. Is it to, to what, not like a religion or just like in to, a general? To Muhammad. I pray to oh, him. I put a big rug down. No, it's just like the general like, you know, help me to not. I give up control of my life. I'm gonna to whatever's playing, out there. To whatever's out there. I'm stopping playing God. I'm not going to try and control everything because me trying to control everything makes me insane and gets me to the point where if I'm not drinking, I got to watch internet porn for three hours or I got to try and put my goo in five women at one time mm-hmm. who I don't like or I'm going to, you know, order 
eighty dollars worth of halal guys, or <laughs> take some Adderall you guys gave me, or fucking do whatever unhinged thing that makes me not think about my own existence. So I was criticizing you about quitting for that drive, but I, I was going to say I was asking as mm-hmm. a genuine question because I was I was actually curious. Right. I like to get into the. I, I think it was leading up to that point, and then that drive was kind of like, yeah, maybe you know. Right, you know, and it was also yeah, yeah. just really sad. Well, so even if your yeah. next day can be terrible, even well, if no, I've been sad for a couple months, like living alone and everything, and yeah. I was like, man, so it might have really been kind of fucking sad. You might have been yeah. kind of. Reaching you know, for straws yeah. makes by me quitting. Yeah. Hap, when I'm really alone and sad, I drink a lot. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say Alpha Brain. Go right to a sponsor. Alpha Brain too also works. And elk. Yeah. Right. I, I do think that drinking, even if it's not, uh, you know, you're going to jail and you're you're beating your wife. Right. There's a subtle, significant amount of damage that you can do that people don't realize they're doing. To no, right. Well, that's the problem with like you go to these fucking like I've gone to these twelve step groups and it's like. These guys who think they're Mark Marin, like hogging up all the talking, mm. sharing time, and they're like, "I tell you, I was in a gutter, yeah, and I was sucking a tranny's dick, yeah." It's like they're bleeding identity. out of my. It's like their identity. It's like, dude, I'm like, I'm not a fucking idiot, so I didn't like get it, let it right. get weird, but yeah, it ruined my life for ten years. You know what sure. I mean? Yeah. Just quietly and desperately. Yeah, you know, sure. I'm sorry, I don't have a cool story where I fucking. Is was it the type of thing where you think ten- though, like you can't like say we're say like there's a special night. And I invite I you out. Like we, go, it's like a wedding. Or I don't whatever. know. Something I, there's like, nothing. There's nothing written down on. Is in, it the type? No, I, mean, I, I don't have like, a memento was tattoo. Was drinking to you like the type? <laughs> <laughs> you hand him a <laughs> You just oh, if you had just popped it, just pop it <laughs> you pour it in his <laughs> mouth. You like <laughs> actually it. poison him. Slap it. Yeah. <laughs> but was it the type of thing where like you would drink like a night like that with that girl, and uh-huh. then do you wake up like I should do this again, or like that type of thing, or like. Like, cause no. like, or are you, can, no. or do you think you, you can be the type of guy that can like not do it for months on end and then there's a big night? I don't think it's drink. necessarily alcohol anymore because I get such a bad hangover, but it's definitely just the vibe of like, like, you know, I'll just be like, I don't want to exist. Yeah. And right. short of killing myself, it's like, okay, porn, alcohol, weed. Yeah. Fucking, you could take a pill. You could try to fuck this lady. You can watch. YouTube videos for eight hours. Like, pick your fucking addiction for yeah. the day. You You're right. I mean? Well, it's weird. When I met you and Ben, mm-hmm. I don't think I was drinking that much. I think you guys were the drinkers. Right. And then I think... Oh, I came to New York drinking a bottle of whiskey a day. I mean, I came to L.A. from New York. I was drinking a bottle of whiskey a day. Like a full ben like used a to bottle be the best bottle? drinker in town. Right. I, I didn't really drink with you that often, but Ben would come. Well, Jace handled you. You could. Ben Jace was find drunk, me with you a couldn't. twelve pack wherever right. I was, and just be like, let's go. Jace drink was drunk, it. but you couldn't tell. Jace yeah. handled his. Liquor, I got like, drunk really like a well. Dad, that like it was. No, Ben drank like a South Dakota person. Jace yeah, was yeah. almost drinking like John Wayne or something. Yeah, like, yeah. like you couldn't tell he was drunk, but like he just needed it to like right, survive right. the bullet wound or something. Like I would drink it and then pour it on like an open. That was hospice. Yeah, but Ben would. drink drink and be like nuts right but he was still a he lot would of go fun. Si- he would go sicko mode anyway yeah. let's uh, well we we should wrap, let wrap me finish up. one thought on tell us, tell us your brutal last addiction. sure 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 i will say that i i mm-hmm. i get it i i and i've actually had a bunch of moments where especially when i'm very hungover right and i'm considering you know the the anxiety of being super hungover you're dehydrated and you really just did a fucking number to your brain and blah, blah, blah. That will scare me into sobriety. Uh-huh. And sometimes I'll even think, maybe I'll just never drink again. That lasts to me usually 48 hours max. <laughs> and then, so so I have that one next day where it's like, oh, I feel fucking amazing. Why right. would I ever? And then the next day comes and it's like, I'm never drinking again, but yeah, yeah, I don't yeah. really, I mean, I'm not feeling great. Yeah. And then the next day where it's like, oh, wait, yeah, being sober fucking I think the, sucks. Yeah, I think right. the ultimate yeah. thing with me the same is like that it's um like, I mean, I, I, I could drink out of like happiness. I could drink out of like, oh, this sucks. So I mm-hmm. get a, I get an right. opportunity to drink. But I think when I drink in between all those times, it's because I'm like bored. I'm like simply like, fuck, this is, I'm just... This feels so regular, and I'm just like t- I just I can't take like, the regularness of life. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, no, I definitely. I mean, it's, I, I think I've listen, developed listen, existence a is sure. existence is brutal. I mean, you guys are. I have a be dead, so. I have an issue. I'll be attending your funeral. I, I, yeah. you know, I, I have I have a suit guy for no, you. I mean, I pissed out a rock today. 
<laughs> but I think Wait, I'm did fine. You... No, I'm kidding. Okay. Yeah. I, was like... I have pebbles coming out of my <laughs> dick hole, but I'm fine. <laughs> my urethra no, looks like a sandworm. I'm, I'm pissing pebbles, <laughs> <Right>. James. <laughs> no, it's it's yeah, it's I I don't I don't care what anybody does. I'm just trying this thing out I for me. You. And existence is brutal for I think everybody. Yeah. Yeah. It's quite good I, for I, me. I guess I'm when always I'm drunk. The only reason I questioned you on it is because uh You've been pretty good with not drinking the last like two, three years I've known you. Right. And when I met you, you like were like an every night the drinker. The big ones I'm trying so right I've now. So I've always been like, well, what's well, Jay seems like he has it under control. Right. Like he can drink once well, for me, in a like, while. It's like, it's not like there's a thing like it's like, okay, I will, I will stop doing heroin and then I will be fine. It's like, okay, do I cut out every single thing I'm addicted to? Do I stop doing 19 things? Right. Or do I pick? And for me right now, it's it's all drugs and alcohol. So, like, no weed or pills or anything. And then no porn, which has surprisingly been much harder than I've anything been getting, else. I used to yeah. jack off. My jacking off would take five minutes max. Yeah, I, I would. I started jacking off lately where it's, mm-hmm. I'm now, I... I 40 minutes just yeah. passed. You're doing I've a, been looking yeah. for a video. You're doing a fish concert. I have to get drunk to watch porn. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm, I'm, nerv- I'm nervous they won't like yeah. me. Well, I that's take Viagra to jack up. I, I was uh, reading about the, week, the what that does to your dopamine system is crazy because your dopamine just regulates a mine normal amount. Mine is a thousand percent dopamine. Yeah. Because I, I, I'll do an With Adderall. No porn, you I'll do an Adderall for jacking off the porn. I'll do an Adderall. Right. I'll, I'll be so, caffeine all day. I'll go run five miles. Right. I'll get back and my mind is just still like, I'm not ready to go to sleep. Right. So every time you, 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 the- you jack your dopamine up, it actually decreases your like way above normal range. Yeah. It actually decreases your ability to make dopamine for everything else. So like if you like for me, it's like if you're just doing that thing where you, you know, you're clicking through videos like, you know, I'm like fucking the That's guy, doing, yeah. the, the, like tank in the Matrix, yeah, just like yeah, between yeah, yeah. all the screens right. and everything. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah, it's yeah. like you're hacking something. <laughs> no, like, you're like, do, 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 He uh, goes, Neo, there's a new bang bus in tab seven. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the minority goes, report. skip the 17 minutes in tab seven yeah. on the bang bus. We have, a, we have a gaper. We have a gaper in Lincoln Park. <laughs> I can zoom in. Big, the minority report gloves and the balls. Um but no, it was like, so I was like jacking that dopamine up and I could definitely feel like, oh, the more I do this, it's like my regular life. I'm like, I don't have any energy. And like, I think I'm, cause I did alcohol and drugs first and then I did porn second. I think I've been not watching porn for two weeks. And that's like, I, th- I was listening to the science talk about it. That's like a real, like the first two weeks I'm like, oh fuck. Dude. You can tell the mental brain. It's literally wild. like, I'm not yeah, even yeah. sad. It's like, I just don't want to do anything. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. But it's not like, I'm not sad. I just literally don't have my dopamine. Like it's like, yeah, like just sputtering, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So I don't want to do anything, but it's it's slowly been getting. Yeah, I just for I I made a rule for myself where it's like if you're gonna jack off, it's got to be you got a five minute window, boom, right. that's it. You're like if seal you can't team, do it, you're going right. Seal to, Team Six, exactly. helicopter, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Osama, yeah, Osama, and then you're we're out landing the chopper. <laughs> right. That's me opening the laptop. Go, 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 go! I have a rule you're for yelling, myself. You're yelling, "Welcome to the suck." What is your rule? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I have a rule for myself: is if I'm gonna jack off, it's in front of people against their will. <laughs> <laughs> end it on that. Right. Let's end that. That's perfect. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Eh.